Hej, hej. Thanks for resub, Arrow. Gaming tonight? Yeah, can't decide which though. Probably Robocop if we do some games. Thanks for the resub, Rego. I don't know what to tell you, Marco. I don't really have any good advice for it, but I'm wishing you the best with it. Finish Remnant. Hey, it's not up to me, man. Thanks for resub, Waffles and Brutal. And Saram. I gotta wait for Matt and Danny. Thanks for resub, Stuart and Katie. Risa Metalhead. Hi, Harbor. Oh yeah, Young Sheldon's ending. I saw that. I forgot it ever began. It's a tier one sly. In the membership, Jacqueline. That would be pretty wacky if that was the next one. He's a Prime Warrior. Yeah, I keep hearing good things about Deep Rock Galactic. We'll see. <clears throat> oh. Thanks for the membership, silly. The resub, Kyle. And the Prime, Adams. Do you think they'll do a John Christian 4? Yeah, I think so. I think they're gonna, I think he's gonna continue making John Christian. Thanks for the tier 1 bagel. You hear about the guy who was charged after allegedly trying to kill someone for eating all the tacos. Was it in Florida? Thanks to Tier 1 DBL. And there's some Fart and Carlos. The Tier 1 Peyton and the 5 Gift Subs Big Dog. Let me see. A 53-year-old in West Virginia named Dale was arrested after allegedly trying to kill someone for eating all the tacos. The victim said Dale saw that all the tacos were, were gone, became irate, and went to the bedroom and came out with a 22 caliber semi-auto rifle. Wow. Those must be some crazy tacos. Jinkies. Those tacos must go wild. There's the prime pitch. There's some Julian. Oh, sorry, here hasn't been a good shift, Johnny. Is that real, Alucard? I didn't look into it, I just saw that headline. Thanks, Risa Ben. Thanks, Risa Cuddly. Risa Sammy. And thanks, Emily. And hope you're doing well, Nicholas. Are you hyped for Nintendo's next console? Yeah, uh, I'm assuming it's still going to be highly underpowered. That's the Nintendo way, but it is always exciting because that means it's probably going to launch with a new Smash game pretty soon. Thanks to Resub Extinct. No, I'm not playing leagues in OSRS right now. I sat leagues out this time. This is Prime Dean. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that in. No advice, but it will get easier. Thanks, Resub Star. I hey, wish you the absolute best, Cameron. Stay strong. Thanks, Resub Gucci. I don't know what my favorite song would be, Antonio. Thanks to the membership, Brianna. Wish you the best, Cameron. 
Did you skip the gym at all this week? Nope. I did not. Thanks for the membership, Kiwi. You hear about the man who killed his family using a cobra? Jesus Christ. How? Husband uses a venomous cobra to kill his wife and two-year-old daughter by releasing it in their bedroom as they slept. That is fucking horrifying. Wow. Is it Risa Bazi? When are you reviewing the new Disney movie, Wish? Heard it was bad. I might do that tomorrow. Maybe I'll go see it tomorrow. I... I the only thing I'm hearing that's bad is that it's so painfully generic that it makes it bad. Which is the worst kind of bad, because then it's just boring. And I love Detroit Become Human, yeah. <clears throat> I've probably seen that, Curb. Thanks to Resub Solar. And yeah, I know CM Punk came back. I know. I saw CM Punk's... Not coming to the WWE, or sorry, to the MWL. Unlucky. Hey, Va. Not sure yet. And I did not see that phobia. Thanks for the membership, Jayla. And the membership, Mason. And now you can play Baldur's Gate by yourself. Thanks to the resub, Akatsuki, Statics, and two gift subs, Aurora. You gonna play Dead by Daylight again soon? Probably not. I think it's a fun game though. Let's read some Dungus and Aqua. Do you see Josh Giddy met the girl at a nightclub? I've seen most of the Josh Giddy like videos and shit. And then someone made a really good point. So he got to play last night, and someone made a really good point on Twitter. With Ja Morant, like, with the the gun stuff, the NBA immediately, like, put the kibosh on his, like, eligibility to play. And with Josh Giddy, they're, like, slow rolling all of that and letting him play in the meantime. It was crazy. I was shocked. Thanks for resub H2O. And the resub muffin. It's because John Morant had numerous instances before that. I guess. Maybe. But you could also... Eh. I, I I still don't think he should have been allowed to play. The, the, there's no reason they should have let, <laughs> let Giddy play last night. Not during an active investigation. And no, I didn't watch Ahsoka. I think it's a membership, Mason. Is it tier one Raj? Do you see any of did you see any of the Matt Rife stuff? No. I do not know what that's about. What if it's all legal and the NBA going to have egg on its face if they stop him from playing? I mean, I feel like it's just common protocol, like during an active investigation into criminal complaints to just play it safe and be like, hey, while this is going on, maybe don't play the, f <laughs> the very next game. I don't think anyone would be like, look what you've done. It turns out she was actually t t 18 and 5 seconds old. Thanks for you, Subfrog. Not really, Phobia. But hopefully it was an interesting interview. And waiting for the second half, Jack. 
Yeah, the death cap mushroom lady from Australia. Talked about that a lot. Links to potato. And probably the Steam Deck Nicholas. And the membership. Varenex. I already talked about it, Varenex. We went over it. And thanks, Alex. And thanks to Risa Bragg. Or Rage. Have you seen the Gail Lewis Walmart retirement? Walmart employee Gail Lewis becomes TikTok sensation after emotional sign off. A longtime Walmart employee has gone viral on social media after she gave an emotional sign off to her fellow employees, signaling the end of an era. Thanks to some Grizzly and Club. Must be one hell of a speech. Morris, Illinois. It's very quiet. Signing out. Good night. So today was an end of an era for me. What you just saw was me signing out for the last time. I hope it's because you got a... That I have worked at for 10 years. Oh. It's a I hope she got like a, an upgrade or something, a promotion. A job and those people became like family. <laughs> That's pretty cute. So why did she quit? She works at Bucky's now, I heard. Well, surely it'd be in the article somewhere. Oh, here. It's a happy sad because I'm going to be a, I'm going to a better job and those people became like family. I've been through a lot with them. They watch my back. I watch theirs. They help me out. I help them out. Doesn't say anything about Bucky's though. Thirty-eight thousand comments of it on it. That's awesome. Got to put the vest in the rafters after that one. That's cute. That's a feel-good story, I guess. Good for Gail. Of course, I watched Bird Dimmick. I hate the sequel and the the third one as well. I've not listened to Pete and Baz's new album yet. Assuming it's a new album. Haven't played Omori, but I know about it. Yep, we've talked a lot about the MAPPA animator stuff. And yeah, we went over all the bear thefts. You do a moist meter on Napoleon? I just don't really care to see it. Thanks to Reese of AJ's. It just doesn't look like a movie I'd really like. Like, it doesn't look bad or anything. I just don't, I just really don't see myself enjoying it. I feel like I'll be bored. Is that recent? About the lady on the plane going berserk? But he's short. Yeah, it's pretty hype. Love to see uh, ch short men, I guess, in, in cinema. But that's not enough to get my ass in the seat. And yeah, we went over the escape room locking stuff. Pretty sure it's all staged. I keep up with Dark and Darker. I haven't played it in a while, but I do keep up. Caleb's super into it, so... Keep my finger on the pulse. I used to like Dynasty Warriors. I haven't played in a long time, though. My day's been alright. Didn't really do much. You see the CM Punk return? Yeah. I did. I was upset. Because it means he won't be coming to the MWL. These resub scoots. Yeah, 
You seen the Dying Light Cross For Honor? For Honor? No, I have not. Thanks to the 10 hurt. Thanks to the resub popper. And the membership owl. And the resub ooga. You making a judgment about Napoleon without even seeing it is beyond moronic and pure cognitive dis pure cognitive dissonance. Did you just escape from Reddit or something? What the what the fuck? You not having interest in a movie based on the trailer that you weren't super interested in is absolute cognitive dissonance. Does the narwhal bacon at midnight? Goodness gracious. I'm sorry, brother. It, it wasn't a movie that looked interesting to me based on the trailers. The cognitive dissonance must be too extreme. Sorry for my moronic tendencies, I suppose. Thanks, Risa Bunk. Do you run their Twitter account or something? Thanks, Risa Kizzy. Hey, Kizzy. You see the? Did you see the D'Amelio twins working at Walmart, making it look like a dream job? Oh, for their shoot a month or so, a month or so ago. Yeah. Thanks for some cash. I still haven't watched the Scott Pilgrim anime. No, and I'm still on the Fishman arc in One Piece. It's really boring. Rough arc. See the streaker today who started crawling through the it's a small world what wait that sounds f fucking wacky streaker roaming disneyland's it's a small world ride gets immediately booted does he go full nakey no he's in boxers right here what was the occasion? Usually this is for like sporting events. Favorite game of 2023? For me, probably Tears of the Kingdom, but I still haven't finished Baldur's Gate 3. Thanks to the resub license and Llama. He's not gonna get hurt, he clearly knows what he's doing. Do they serve alcohol at Disneyland? I don't I don't go enough to know. That looks like he's having fun. Which is what Disney's all about. Who's he looking for? Is he trying to find Walt's cryo sleep tube? God, this ride moves slow. Some people did sneak some in a while ago. Makes sense. Thanks, membership ethereal. Oh my god, he's gonna fall. Well, it's not that long of a fall, he'd probably be fine. Sources with direct knowledge tell TMZ this wayward guest was immediately removed from Disneyland. Yeah, that sounds about right. Wow, wait. <laughs> Man even came equipped with the shades. He said, I know what I'm here for. I guess he did I guess he did end up getting naked. Why would he do that? Is there any motive? Drugs? Yeah, I guess. Man hit that K2. Yeah, I saw CM Punk back in the WWE. Bittersweet. Could have been the MWL. Oh, 
A dare. Yeah. You can't back down from a dare, else you're a bitch. Sure, Smoke. Currently, I'm currently at Disneyland now, and the ride was closed when my family tried to get on. Thanks to Tier 1, Caitlin. Yeah, they probably had to, like, disinfect everything. Just in case. I looked into PVZ speedrunning. No tech, but a lot of strategy. Nah, I only speedrun games that have a lot of good glitches in tech. Thanks, Morgan. Let's see some ones. Well, that was wholesome. Thanks for that, Hurt. Appreciate the kind words. You kink shaming that guy? The small world streaker? Yeah. Probably not best to run around nude at a children's theme park on a ride with with the children there, I would say. Probably bad kink. That's what I'm very comfortable kink shaming on, actually. Do you have a favorite regular show episode? It has to be the one with Billy Mitchell. They got sued for that, and Billy embarrassed himself, and, <laughs> like, it's gotta be that, that one. I forgot the name of it. A good episode, too, on its own right, but it's even better knowing Billy Mitchell tried to sue them. Thanks, Reese and Nelly. Portal speedruns are too hard for me. That's, like, too advanced. I hope you have a good night shift, Jacob. Appreciate it, Lucy. I haven't had a chance to watch all of it yet, though. Yeah, Link Click is amazing. Thanks to the Prime. Shite. Garrett Bobby Ferguson, yep. Mm -hmm. I appreciate the long time of watching, Rock. Thanks, Kitty. Play the Walking Dead game? I am. December 1st. Hopefully it's a short game, because I really don't want to end up spending fucking eight hours in that game. But I do want to finish it. I don't know, smoke up to them. Thanks to the Prime Nar. You see Invincible on... Did you see Invincible is on hiatus? Yeah, and per usual, some weirdos on Twitter had a big fit about it which I don't understand I, I'll never understand why people get so bent out of shape over something like that it's not uncommon to have like a mid-season break and it's coming back in like a month anyway things are resub physical what do you mean WX it's been two years so what? I don't see why that matters. Take all the time it needs to deliver quality. To be fair, the reason it's on break... To be fair, the reason it's on break is dumb considering the season is completely finished. Oh, what? I thought they were taking the break to finish it. What's it on break for? Doesn't say. Where, where did you get the information on that? There's no articles for it. Robert Kirkman talked about it. Where? Let me see if I can find it. Oh, here. Oh, this is from back in August. Is it this one? 
Invincible Season 2 will go on hiatus after its fourth episode to give viewers time to process the shocking events that take place. Yeah, that's pretty fucking cringe. I thought this was because the conditions for animators were a little bit better, so that way it wasn't just perpetual crunch and misery. Giving them a little more time to finish up the work. That's pretty cringe. Yeah. Okay, I'll give you that. <laughs> Thanks, the resub, Torin. Thanks, the resub, Paul. No, I have no idea who would win in that fist fight. Destroy. That'd be a tough one. It's a little bit of the production process just because ramping things up has taken longer than we thought, but also it's something we've done with The Walking Dead, and I think narratively it's kind of cool to have that pause to digest what you've experienced. When you see episode four you, you, of season two, you may need a break. It's a big episode. It's definitely a mid-season finale kind of episode. You then explained how the hiatus will be timed. With everything going on in that time of year with Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, and a lot of family time, I think a lot of shows get lost in the shuffle there. And so I think it's good to take a pause, and narratively it's going to make things hit a little bit harder. People will know what I'm talking about when the season launches. I mean, you could have just waited till after the holiday season then, I guess, to just do the whole thing if it's done. That, that does seem pretty dumb. Thanks to the membership, WX. Thanks to Reese Astro and Quelled. It's not about me, Audrey. I haven't finished watching it yet, but it's not about me. It seems like it's a Trojan horse kind of thing, and then I'm mentioned in it. I don't know, Astro Boat. I think it's a dumb idea. Stop ignoring Mama Max. Yeah, so here, you want me to talk about it a little bit? That rubbed me the wrong way. We talked, like, a month ago about, like, what he was working on in his investigation. And then, apparently, when I had COVID, he messaged me a couple times and I never saw it. And now he's taken that as me ghosting him and ignoring his very important mission. And it really rubs me the wrong way. Instead of just... <laughs> he jumping to the most extreme possible explanation for me not seeing it, which is really fucking cringe. That did make me upset. There. Yeah, that, that really rubbed me the wrong way. I had COVID, I, and I barely used Discord in the first place. It was a miracle I ever, I ever even saw his message to begin with. And then I spent 12 days not doing anything online in bed. And during that time, apparently, it changed his whole framing of the video in order to make it like a Trojan horse of cancel critical because he didn't respond to my messages and ghosted me. So yeah, that did rub me the wrong way. Good intentions, but I did not like that. And yeah, Invincible's been great so far. I haven't seen the mid-season finale, though. That's the next episode I'm on. And I've not listened to that, Nicholas. What do you think about GTA 6 possibly charging $2 per hour to play? It's crazy how shit spirals into complete nonsense. That's not happening. You're talking about that interview the CEO gave where he said games should be char gamers should be charged hourly, but it's not happening. He was talking about like how much entertainment you get for the price point, saying that it would make sense to charge hourly, but they're not going to do it. And happy birthday, Maddie. Really appreciate that. Hope you had a great birthday.
They would kill the game charging that much. Yeah, exactly, which is why they're not going to. It's not happening. It was just the CEO making another greedy, silly, stupid statement. GTA 6 might be disappointing though. Based on what? What are you what are you talking about? Why? <laughs> what there is nothing that has been shown aside from the leaks which were actually extremely impressive. Where does this come from? Happy birthday to your dad, Dimmy. Should take a look at Arkin Age. Why does that sound so familiar? It's a VR action adventure game. I don't really play VR. Oh, it's a PS VR game. Oh no, it's not. It's on Steam too. <coughs> you see the LA car chase that happened last night? There's probably like 30 or 40 that happened last night. So I don't know which one you'd even be talking about. Thanks to the resub, Emily. I, I haven't seen those claims, Shepard. Thanks to the resub, Delia. In the tier one mom slayer. Hulk Hogan's got a fucked up back, though. But I don't think it's because of The Undertaker. Not sure, Colby. You gonna stream the Silent Hill 2 remake? Yeah, it'll probably be dog shit, though. That one, I'm just not optimistic for after what they did for Silent Hill Ascension. Oh, which reminds me. I don't know if you guys saw this clip popping off from Silent Hill Ascension yesterday. With Barry Man. But this is the, the level of quality that Konami's working with for Silent Hill. Don't know what that is, Kai Kai Andy. I'm just foraging for wild berries. I swear. <laughs> Stumbled on a great patch of growing berries over here. <laughs> Silent Hill's never been this good. Now that you mention it, I have seen some strange things out in these woods. You? I've been rooting for berries and other things for several seasons. Huh? <laughs> so fire. <laughs> if this isn't written by an AI, I don't know what is. I don't think AI could write something this. Goodbye, Barry Man. <laughs> Barry NPC. So yeah, Silent Hill 2 remake to me doesn't seem like it's in good hands. But would love to be pleasantly surprised. Most remakes have been pretty good. Thanks for your sub turnip and cap. Happy birthday, Matt. What? Wait, what is so bad about that? You know there's a Silent Hill, right? This is just an extremely awful interaction. So the context is they're out here because there's monsters, and this guy's apparently been chased by monsters but only cares about berries, and they have like this worst, most stiff chat about berries. And also the game is basically just voting on cutscenes that happen through pay to win. It's so dumb. It's a terrible, terrible game. It's, well, it's not even really a game. It's more of just like a social experiment with money. Thanks for you said tyrannical. Oh yeah, that new Hellboy game. Well, one day maybe. Did they skip Silent Hill 1 and go straight to 2? Well, 2 is more beloved. Silent Hill 2 is like considered like an all-time great. So it makes sense that they'd go right to 2. That's not surprising. And yeah, we talked about the underwear bandit. Mm. 
Not on stream Mac, but I can check it out. Next the Prime King. Update on Josh Giddy NBA investigating him. However, the, oh yeah, I know that. That's from like two days ago. He played last night. That's what I was just talking about. I was surprised they let Giddy play in the middle of an investigation. Hold on, quick text message. Hope you had a good day, Kim. And congrats, Ethan. Hope you enjoy the university. Have you heard about Menu Gate? What's Menu Gate? No. What is this? It was deleted. So, nope. I don't know shit about it. What's your opinion on PS5 Slim being more expensive? I have no idea, is it new? If so, that makes sense, I guess. There's new footage of him and the alleged victim at a nightclub suggesting she might not be underage. Thanks to Tier 1 Ace, the recent winner. Is that what that suggested? I couldn't tell how that was supposed to proclaim her innocence. Because you can just sneak into nightclubs, especially if she's with Josh Giddy. Josh Giddy could just say she's with me. Thanks for the membership, Rexus. When I was in college, I didn't even need a fake ID or anything. I'd just be with my friends and we'd be like, Hey, <laughs> yeah, we're 21 and they'd let us in. They didn't care. Or if you slipped in like a 10 under your ID, they just did not care. Things the Prime Kara and Dirty Dan. There's a short about Menu Gate, very creepy. I can check that out at some point. Glad to hear that, Pierre. Have you heard of the AI art app Make AO? Mm -mm. What clubs did you go to? Literally any of them. Here, here's an easy one Miami. When we went to Miami for spring break, where I would have thought they'd be a lot stricter, they did not care. We ended up not going to Club Live or whatever, because it was $300 for general admission, because everything in Miami is absurdly overpriced and a giant fucking scam. But then we went to a different one, I forgot the name of it. All I did was just put a $10 bill under my ID and they just let me in. And I started ordering beers. They did not care. And it's the same way for, like, pretty much every other club or any other place we ever went to. Thanks to the membership, Nicholas. So, and especially if she's with Josh Giddy. Again, he could just say, she's with me. And they'd be like, oh, of course, Mr. Giddy, please, come in. Do you need bottle service? It's very possible she used a fake ID. No, that too, I guess. I'm just saying you wouldn't even need to. Thanks to Prime. Mind. Oh yeah, we talked about the peeing lady on the plane. I don't know what that is, Kayandi. I, I, I don't know that game. Thanks to the Prime Milk. You see the Donovan Sharp Red Pill wanting? I started watching that a couple weeks ago and never finished it. I forgot. It was pretty wacky, though. <clears throat> he 
you see that Star Citizen trailer where it was 24 minutes of one continuous shot going through the universe in different environments? Was that the one that went around Twitter earlier today? I didn't watch it, but I saw this. the caption was, uh, Star Citizen is fucking massive or something. There's a command for it in the chat, Nicholas. Thanks to the Prime FML. And the resub night. Bro, did you not see the girl in the club with him? That weird rumor has been dispelled. What is going Do people just watch the stream muted? I literally just got done talking about that. <laughs> what in the world? You would be the worst investigator ever. Oh, I saw a video of her at the club, which means she is clearly 21 years old. Because there's no way underage people go into clubs. It doesn't happen. It's illegal. And illegal things don't happen. They can't just drop the investigation because of a single video of her at a club with Josh Giddy. When again, the entire time I was underage, I could get into any club or bar really that I wanted by either just being with someone who was of age and saying I'm with him, or putting a $10 bill under my ID. Thanks to Resub Girthy. And Pigeon. And thanks Bucks. I appreciate that, Grifty. I hope you're doing well. Thanks for the membership, Espinosa. Probably need a 20 nowadays because of inflation. Oh yeah, I don't know what the rates is for getting into under getting into clubs underage anymore. Who knows? Thanks to the resub, Luigi. And yeah, the room's a classic, of course. Oh, agreed. Of course, it's terrible, Nicholas. Is that right, Grima? I mean, that was a great video. That shit was crazy. You see, Halo Infinite has officially passed Destiny 2 in most played Xbox game. Sounds about right. Halo Infinite's getting their act together. Destiny 2 continues to flounder. Yeah, I've been watching Invincible Season 2. I'm just one episode behind, so I haven't watched the mid-season finale yet. Thanks, membership, Chunky. And the Resub Thunder. I'm sorry to hear that, Will. Hope everything's alright. Thanks to the Resub, Nick. In for a treat, then. It's amazing. That's what everyone says. I'm sure it is. I'm a huge fan of Invincible, and I think they're killing it, so... I have no doubt it's amazing. Thanks, Yusuf Saint. Do you have the beard because you fear what you would look like without a beard? Yeah, of course. Absolutely. Looks like shit without it. Just talked about it, Rexus. Thanks to Resub Saint. In the prime ear. You hear? Did you see the video about the guy asking Halo Infinite campaign DLC and getting shut down? No. Did they do some kind of like conference or something? There's a gift of Delia.
hear about the did you hear the NFL red zone crew had to evacuate the building during live coverage? Thanks, Prime Ketchup. Yeah, some kind of alarm went off, right? The NFL red zone is evacuating because an alarm went off in the building. The Eagles were leading, yeah. I saw the headlines. I don't know why they had to evacuate, though. Is there some mim? Is there any update to it? Thanks, Tom. No, I never looked into that. I know a bit about it, though, dude. No, they just kept everything going. Mm. Nice to some Mary Jane. Thanks, the resub Bojangle. I'm doing alright, Devil. Hope you're doing well. And the resub Nuclear. You ever watch Beverly Hills Ninja with Chris Farley and Chris Rock? A long time ago. I used to watch everything Chris Farley related in the 90s. I don't remember that movie at all now, though. It's been so long. I remember when I was a kid, I liked it, though. Everything Chris Farley did was gold back then. Never have, Nicholas. Dream Scenario is the new A24 movie starring Nicholas Cage. Let me see. Never even heard of it. I'll check out the trailer later. It actually looks really cool. Nicolas Cage is on a comeback right now. He's making some, like, good movies. There's a Prime Crush in the Resub Sam. And Mert. Imagine if Chris Farley ended up doing Shrek like he was supposed to. I don't think it would have made it any better. I think Mike Myers does a really... Like, I can't imagine Shrek not being Mike Myers. Favorite John Christian game now that you've played all three? You can't beat the first one. The first one, I think, had the most passion behind it. Now he's churning it out like Assassin's Creed. Are you good at ping pong? Yeah, I'm extremely good at ping pong. Never heard of it, Pig. What's the name of that movie? Are you going to be in the... Are you going to go to the upcoming Fortnite event? Yeah, the Eminem event, man. I'll be there. December 2nd, right? Pretty sure it's December 2nd. I'll be there. Do you see the original Shrek test demo that was out? Oh, yeah, I did. That was so fucking awful. It's crazy how far we've come with that technology. And no, I haven't heard anything about that, Parker. Ooh, Jesus Christ, puppet. God damn, thank you for the huge drop, puppet. But I disagree. I think Nicolas Cage is killing it right now. Man's on a streak. Thanks for the resub sway. No, there's nothing to apologize for, Spencer. You're totally fine. I just haven't had a chance to finish it yet. But no, no worries at all. And I'm wishing the absolute best for everyone involved. 
You ever played any VR games like Onward or Ghost of Tabor? I haven't played either of those, but I do like VR games. I just get sick. Thanks to the Prime Mouth. And they're resub rotted. You don't like Assassin's Creed games? No, I actually fucking hate them. I think they're the most boring games that get released every single year. I can't get more than three or four hours into it without falling asleep, and I give up on it. It's so bad. I, I, they are just not for me. Truly not for me. Damn, Nicholas. Not. I, I'm definitely not going back to Mr. Krabs overdoses on ketamine. I'll never beat the record again. Thank you for that, though. You have any interest in joining Soda's Hardcore WoW Guild? Not at all. If it was retail WoW, I could be enticed. Classic is just too slow for me. I like the content that's coming out of it, though. Like, I just saw the poke death, which was tragic, but, I mean, it's been good content. I wouldn't join, though. No, I, I know, Colt. I, I don't know what part of the stream you've seen, but no, I understand what the, the purpose was. It was just the one component of it that I was talking about. Like I said, there's nothing to apologize for, and you don't need to, like, explain it. I, I do get it. I really do. I'm not going to skip it or anything. And I prefer watching a show as it airs. I don't like the binge model of watching shows. Have you seen Enrique and Iglesias goofy singing? I haven't heard that name since I was a kid. <laughs> no, I can't say I've seen that. I think it's Risa Rebecca. Oh, I still haven't looked into that, Sammy. I saw the headlines a few days ago, and then I still just haven't looked into that. But it sounds fucking horrible, whatever's happening over there. Thanks for the membership, Chase. Lethal Company's amazing. I actually saw this headline that made me really excited. Lethal Company is doing so well that it's outselling Call of Duty and obviously a ton of other things. But it's always a feel-good story that a really good indie game pops off like this. It deserves it. It's a great game. I hope it doesn't become new among us. Do you mean like with meme culture? Because as far as success goes, I would like for it to be as successful as Among Us. I think it's a good game. It deserves it. But as for memes, yeah, I wouldn't really want that either. God, that shit got so stale. And we talked about the Carl stuff with Netflix, yeah. Thanks to Resub Hugo. I know CM Punk is back in the WWE. I was already saying earlier that means he's not going to the MWL, so it's very bittersweet for me. Not that we ever really had a chance, but you can hold on to hope. Thanks, for sub Sarah. <clears throat> you see the recent lawsuit against Taco Bell because of the raunchy, alcohol-fueled company Christmas sex party. Taco Bell, huh? Going kind of hard. Raunchy, alcohol-fueled Taco Bell party included open sex lawsuit claims. A Los Angeles area Taco Bell employee is suing the company and franchise owner after she claims a Christmas party at the fast food restaurant descended into a drunken mess that included open sex. So, uh, he sounds like a party pooper. What a great corporate retreat. Unbelievable. 
in the suit. She alleges that her supervisor invited her on December 18, 2022. She was encouraged to bring food for a potluck-style buffet, and her contribution was a bowl of guacamole. Once she arrived, Betchium discovered that her supervisor covered the windows of the restaurant with wrapping paper and covered the cameras for the lobby inside of the restaurant. Jesus Christ. Turning Taco Bell into the Red Room. She claims her supervisor provided alcohol to staffers, several of whom were overserved, and around midnight, Betchium had stepped outside for a short time. She walked back into the restaurant and saw a co-worker having sex with his wife in front of everyone at the party. The co-worker's wife, Betchium claims, was also kissing her female manager and another female co-worker at the same time. Shocked, disgusted, and outraged, Beckium claim, uh, alleged that she first ran out of the restaurant, but then went back inside to retrieve her guacamole bowl, only to find that her manager and other co-worker involved in a sexual encounter were vomiting. <laughs> I have to go back for my guacamole, damn it. Like a soldier returning to the war zone to drag out a fallen comrade or something, get their dog tags. I'm not leaving without that guac. They vomited in the bowl. <laughs> Oh, wait, yeah, you're right, in the next sentence. One threw one threw up in the trash while the other vomited in her guacamole bowl. Oh, God. Defiling the sacred artifact. I'd say Cosmic Shake, Nicholas. He's a tier one schmeet in the Prime Saint. Betchium says she reported the incident to Taco Bell Human Resources and Alvarado Restaurant Group, the Colorado-based franchise... The manager and other co-workers involved in the sexual encounter were fired, her, comp or her complaint state, Jesus, complaint states. After their termination, Beckyum alleges she was also threatened and had her car window shattered by someone associated with her former co-workers. Jesus. Taco Bell and the franchisee did nothing about these threats and instead told her that they were transferring her to a new location rather than disciplining the employees who threatened her. Beckyum eventually quit and alleges she has suffered actual, consequential, and incidental financial losses, and that Taco Bell violated the anti-discrimination laws. What a crazy party. Well then. Mmm, good point, Puppet. Yeah, yeah, good point. That would be huge, Raider. That would be a big pickup. Damn, I need to go to Taco Bell. Guess so. What a party. There's a resub shadow. People are saying there's a car chase. Well, there always is. I don't watch them live or anything. It's cool, Johnny. It is cool. I already talked about it quite a bit. Are they still dealing with that rotted meat scandal from April? I think you're getting it confused. It wasn't rotted. Well, maybe they're talking about a different lawsuit. They were getting sued because their marketing pictures didn't have enough meat compared to the actual product you get served. That was the other lawsuit they were facing that I recall. Starts back in uh, January, Goblin, I believe. Yep, playing the Walking Dead game on December 1st. That's when it comes out on PC. Did you see the $59 million wedding where the bride rented out a Versailles... Rented out Versailles and got Maroon 5 to play. 
Appreciate it again, puppet. $59 million wedding? Paris, this $59 million lavish wedding of the century goes viral. Holy shit. What a cool venue. <laughs> this looks like an AI-generated landscape here. A wedding in Paris has created quite a stir on social media with, with people terming it the wedding of the century. Madeline Brockway, a 26-year-old car dealership heiress from South Florida. Hey, Florida, let's go, baby. Has become the talk of the town for her ultra-luxurious wedding celebration with her longtime boyfriend, Jacob Lagron. Madeline Brockway tied the knot with Jacob on November 18th. Videos from the extravagant celebration cost a whopping $59 million. Okay. A private performance by Maroon 5. Wow. Let me take a peek. Oh, he looks so happy. DMCA'd. Pretty cool. All that probably just to have terrible food, though. Man, what a way to blow 59 mil, huh? I'll be honest, though. That doesn't seem fun. <laughs> like, that just doesn't really seem like a cool wedding. That doesn't seem worth it at all. I feel like for $59 million, you could have done so much more. Shit. That feels like just such a fucking waste, actually. I thought that was going to be much more extravagant. I feel like they spent all the money on Maroon 5 and just the venue, whereas they could have spent it on, like, entertainment. You could have had the entire Cirque du Soleil upper echelon perform for you. You could have done some wild shit. Run out a whole city. How many games on the Steam library? Uh, it's like 800 something, I think. 1,003. They reverse scam themselves. Guess so. A family franchises four to five different car dealerships, all of which make millions. That's how they afford it. I mean, I guess. Oh, I appreciate that. Thanks, Red Hero. I'll take a peek at that. I do love Bloodborne. And thanks, Raz. Hope you're having a good night. Thanks to the Prime Drunk. Aren't, like, relatively typical weddings somewhere between 30 and 60... Aren't relatively typical weddings somewhere between 30 and 60k? Brother, what? What kind of weddings are you going to? <laughs> oh my god. No. None of the weddings I've been to. I think it's a resub Nova. I think the most expensive wedding I went to, my buddy spent like... Well, it wasn't my buddy. But, like, the family spent, I think it was close to, like, 15000 Mainly just because of the location. Because they rented out the church.
for like an hour. <laughs> Granted, I've only been to three weddings though, to be fair. So maybe, who knows. Thanks, Reese of Bread. But I will say that doesn't sound right. Only an hour. Yeah, and then the rest took place next door. Was it fun? Yeah, it was fun. My favorite game ever made is City of Heroes. The average wedding cost in Florida, according to Google, is 27k. Jesus, that's a lot higher than I would have expected. Thanks to Resub Wheels. Another wedding I went to took place just outside of a church. I, that, that, I don't think that was anywhere near 27k. For 59 million, luckily no one objected during their vows. Yeah, imagine you could have really fucked them. Appreciate it. Thanks for that, Rodar. I did not know it was owned by Joe GW. That's pretty cool. One rich guy doing a $59 million wedding would have brought that average up a lot. Oh, good point. You ever busted it down before? Oh, I dance like a maniac, yeah. I love dancing. I'm not good at it, but it's a lot of fun. One wedding I went to in Florida hyped up that they were bringing a super famous artist. I went as part of a photography team, and it was Jack Harlow. <laughs> Wait, that's got a fire. Was it a good performance? Holy shit, puppet. Oh my god, thank you for the crazy generosity tonight. Thank you so much for that, Puppet. I hope you have a wonderful evening, and thank you. God damn. Well, speaking of weddings, though, I, I made a video on this a while ago, but just to put it on everyone's radar again, you will never have a wedding this good. Oh, I can't see him. <laughs> Got it at two times speed. There's probably 15k just to have the rights to this song. That's Buck Cherry, baby. I love this guy. <laughs> He's just as confused as the rest of us. You'll never believe what the groom looks like. Or the best men. See, this is what weddings are all about. Everyone's having fun. And everyone's scared. Tosh, Tosh.0 did an interview of this lady. I bet she's great. I bet she's super wholesome. It's like a scene out of Joe Dirt. But yeah. You'll never have a wedding this good. I promise you. The bandanas. Yeah, it's... <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's it's very American. Very fun. Very good. This is what weddings should be like. Fucking $59 million and you had Maroon 5 play and not Buck Cherry? You made a big old mistake, Buster. Thanks for resub, Hammy.
feelings are. You gonna play Avatar's Frontiers of Pandora when it comes out? Yeah, it's next week, right? I think so. I'm getting married next October. Costs are in the 30 to 40k range. God damn. Sounds like it'll be a good wedding then. Congrats. What was your prom experience? Like, super lame. I have nothing interesting to say about it. I, I have nothing cool to tell you. <clears throat> Do you have a motorbike license? I, I've said this before, I think riding a motorcycle is the single most dangerous thing you can ever do. It's just playing life on the highest difficulty. I have nothing but respect for people who do, but I could never see myself doing it. It is, no matter how good, how safe, or how, like, talented you are at riding a motorcycle, you are at the mercy of everybody else in a way that is so far above every other vehicle on the road. It's, it's so fucking scary. Oh, they're so badass, yeah. No, I think motorcycles are really cool. But I could never, ever ride one or get on one or anything. At least not, like, on a public road. I'd be more than willing to ride a motor, like, a dirt bike or a motorcycle on, like, a track or something, but never on a public road when you're at the mercy of everybody else. No idea, Ezra. I've never seen that happen, except in Bubble Boy. Apparently, Bill Gates rented out every single hotel in Honolulu, Hawaii for his wedding. I've never heard of that. That probably... That probably cost more than 59 mil. Like a tier one cooler. You see the author of Hunter Hunter revealed one of four possible endings he created on the chance he dies and won't be able to finish the series. Yeah, I did see that. Thanks to Resub Chupacabra. Yeah, we already went over the Disneyland streaker. When simul when simul streaming, do you have both YouTube and Twitch chat open? Yeah, they're just combined. You continue Blue Eye Samurai. Oh yeah, it's so good. Thanks to Risa Boogie. Blue Eye Samurai is extraordinary. It lives up to the hype. It is so fucking good. Hold on, quick text message. You see the list of the most hated TV characters. Yeah, we can go over it. I did see that. I saw a lot of debate on that. Where did they get the data from, though? I didn't see where it all came from. There's a resub ghost. 
It was just based on votes. Let me see. Maybe it says in here. Viewers rank their most hated TV characters of all time. Well, everyone has fan favorite character. What were... Who pulled it? Okay. Well, anyway. Unsurprisingly, Joffrey was number one. I think everyone knew this was going to happen. Joffrey's just legitimately the most despised character probably in television history. So that's not surprising in even the slightest. And it makes sense. He was a really well-designed, hateable villain. Same with Ramsay. So, these two make sense. It's, the th it's number three that everyone got a little head-scratcher from. Because number three is Skylar. <laughs> and I saw so much debate on this. I'll tell you, I don't think Skylar should be here at all. It's fucking murderer, murderers, psychopaths, all kinds of fucking degenerate, awful shit, fucking <laughs> terrible, terrible things. And then Skylar is somehow number three. Thanks to the membership plant. Well, she did kind of suck. I, I mean, I guess. Like, yeah, she cheated on Walt. Cheating's bad. And she did, like, always openly despise Walt for what he was doing. But it makes sense why she would. Her husband has been lying to her for so long, doing some really dangerous shit that endangers her and the whole family and everyone around. And, spoiler alert, ultimately she was correct with the danger and what happens. Like, it totally makes sense why she would be that way. <laughs> like, it totally does. But yeah, she definitely was a, a character that is... <laughs> like, is a villain in a way, but I don't think should even be close to number three. Thanks to the membership puppet. Oh my god, and the fucking fat 50 gifted members puppet. Jesus, man. She disrespected the grind. Yeah, she should be number one because of cringe. Like, if we're getting Mimi, like, I get it, yeah. It's it's easy to root for Walt. It, it is his show, but when you really take a step back, he is the villain of the show. Well, one of the big villains of the show. Skyler also helped Walt launder money. Yeah, she did. She tried to be a little team player for a bit. No, is that today or something, Nick? Because I haven't seen that. This one, I think, also does make sense. If you've seen Full Metal Alchemist. This is the guy who did the... He was responsible for probably what you've seen a lot of. It's a very iconic scene where it's, um... Like that dog person saying, um... What is it? Something Edward. What is? What did she say? Help me, Edward? No. What the fuck did she... God, it's been so long since I've seen it now. She says something plus Edward. Is it Let's Play? What, what, what was it? What did she say? What did she fucking say? Did she just say Edward? I thought she said something Edward. She does. She, she says Let's Play, right? Either way, in the show, he's, he creates a chimera, and he uses a character that is a little girl, combines it with <laughs> with an animal, and it creates a fucking abomination. It's, it's a horrifying, sad, sad thing. So him being here also makes sense. I don't want to get too deep into it, because I do recommend watching the show. I don't want to get into spoilers, but it is... A fitting one here. So, yes, it's his own daughter, but please stop spoiling it for people who haven't seen it. Well, I guess now that I've said it out loud, it doesn't matter. But yes, it is a very... It's an important scene. He's not a huge character in the show by any means, but it really does set the tone. It's 
Cersei makes sense. Haven't seen The Sopranos. Todd also makes sense. This was another one where it, just a wacky meme thing. It's Big Brother Edward. Is it? I thought Let's Play sounded more accurate to what I remember, but it, it's been many years now. I know I haven't seen the recent highlights, Aaron. My theory with Caillou is that he... What? Well, no, this is for the villains thing. It's just a meme. Also, I don't even know why the governor would be here. I feel like everyone fucking forgot The Walking Dead. There must have been, like, some kind of push on, like, the Walking Dead Discord. Please, fucking remind them one time we had, like, an almost interesting villain. Please. Get him in there. God, just talk about Walking Dead for a second. Please. Who's the governor again? He was during the prison arc. He was pretty cool, actually. The actor did a really good job. When did The Walking Dead die? For me, it was the season after prison. I watched the next season after prison and then dropped it. Which would have been season 5 going into 6. Thanks for the prime look. And then number 10, I also, I haven't seen Glee, so I don't know that. But it, I do think this list serves as a great remember, like a reminder of how good Game of Thrones used to be. They they made some really good villains, and then it just sucked so much ass for season seven and eight. Damn shame. Thanks for the membership, Sean. You a fan of other zombie medium? Like what? Oh, goddamn, Scooby. Thanks for that. Appreciate the insider information. Have you seen Daybreak? I've heard of it. I haven't watched it. What do you think is the best streaming service to start out on? And what streaming service is the best? Um, I mainly watch Hulu, actually. Ne I will say, though, Netflix is starting to get it together a little bit. Mainly because of Blue Eye Samurai. And Pluto. So they're doing really well in the anime department. Is the resub comical? House of Dragon was good. Is the resub snow? And cutie. Have you seen? Yeah, we're gonna play the new Walking Bad, or the the new Walking Dead game on December first. It says House of Dragon was good, but Season 8 wasn't. L? Huh? What does House of the Dragon and Season 8 have in common? <laughs> the big problem with Season 8 is that it rushed every single storyline to, like, get it over with. Instantly. 
House of the Dragon legitimately couldn't have that problem. It's one season setting the stage. Like, they can't even be compared. Thanks for the membership, says Nick. What was wrong with season 7, though? Same thing that was wrong with season 8. They rushed everything. For example, you remember when they had the... Big problem, hey, we're going to need you to go back past the wall to let Daenerys know things are going wrong in, like, one episode. And then the next episode, Daenerys shows up on the dragon. She traveled across, like, the entire fucking world instantly, like, instant transmission. They just introduced teleportation. Whereas, like, in season five, they spent, like, half the seat, well, pretty much the whole season, marching to get from place to place. There was travel time. There was actual building of characters, stakes, and tension. And season 8, and, and the, season 7 too, was just speedrunning plot points. Have you seen the new Devil May Cry show teaser? Yes, I am excited for that. Not sure, Brayton. Thanks to Prime Yappy and Resub Gaming. Oh, and the big 100 again, Scooby. Oh my god, thank you for that. Thanks to Resub Kindred. Thanks to Resub Eyes. Need to hold those writers accountable for making a show loved by millions trash? Well, it wasn't the writers, it was the showrunners, D&D. &D. And they, oh, trust me, I think they go to bed every night regretting how they handled Game of Thrones season 7 and 8. Because HBO offered them more seasons, they turned it down so they could pick up Star Wars, which they got a deal for. And then after the failure of season 8, they lost the, uh... Jesus. They lost that deal. Star Wars dropped them. I haven't checked in on them in like a year though. Let me see what they're doing. So let's see what DB is up to here. Executive producer of The Chair. Never heard of it. And then Three Body Problem. Also never heard of it. Interesting how there's no Star Wars here. It's almost like ruining Game of Thrones wasn't the optimal solution. How about the other guy? Why does it keep doing this? It keeps instantly defaulting to something else. Three body problem in the chair. I didn't realize they did everything together. I thought they'd branch out a little bit. Cool. So they did nothing then. Nope. They've ruined their careers with how they handled that. Yep, we just talked about Gail Lewis a little bit ago. To D&D's credit, they were promised that the books were going to be finished by the time they got to that point. They never agreed to finish writing the books. I get that, but again, they could have just put the show on hiatus. Like, they really could have. Or, since uh, 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 George R. R. Martin gave them, like, the notes, they could have just taken HBO up on the offer to take the extra seasons to develop it slowly. They had plenty of options instead of just rushing it. The Body Problem is a really popular sci-fi book. I think it's wildly liked. The Three Body Problem? I've never heard of it. Maybe it is. Hold on, just give me two seconds though. I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. Parents came over to get something, and then I took a shit. Have you ever played Hypercharge? No. Well, I played... It's not the same thing as Hyper Light Drifter, right? It's not the sequel. Thanks, Resub Wall. And the Resub Ricky and Lemon. So what's that graph? This looks like a graph to you, brother? Huh? What graph? Thanks, Resub Jealous. Sorry to hear that, Raz. I don't know if I'm Waste Meter Godzilla minus one, but I do plan on watching it. We'll see. In your opinion, what's a good performance from an actor and actress you don't really like? Thanks for the resub waffle. I'm not sure. I have to think about it. And I probably won't play them just a guy. When are you gonna do a bad game night? We kinda did last time. Play a little John Christian 3. Things are some infectionary. I just haven't felt like diving down Steam new releases recently. Things are some camp. I am one episode behind on Jujutsu Kaisen now. One on Juju 2 and then one on Invincible. <clears throat> then I'll be caught up. Hey, Polar. Yeah, we already talked about the Disneyland streaker. Thanks to the Prime Chase. Thanks to the resub, Ernie. No, I'm gonna wait till Invincible comes back to moist meter it for the whole season. I'm not gonna do half. Well, thanks for that, Skuma. And hope the final exam went well. Preemptive congrats on the law degree. Any more Lethal Company? Whenever Jackson and Windagoon and Connor want to. I don't think the Devil May Cry anime will be out till like... Probably winter of next year. Are you gonna moist meter Jin V at some point? Nah, it's taking me way too long to even start it. Thanks the resub. DV or DRVR. Have you seen the dog that almost became the flag for Minnesota? Is that new? This dog could be the new Minnesota state flag. What makes this dog so special for that honor? Jesus Christ, the ads everywhere. In 2023, Minnesota legislature created the State Emblems Redesign Commission tasked with redesigning the state flag and state seal and providing a report by January 1st. And they must also solicit public feedback and suggestions to inform its work. Submission F-156. It's a cute dog. What did it lose to?
The person who submitted the, do the dog photograph remains anonymous. Damn. Submission number F15. <laughs> That's pretty cool. The commission's selected flag will officially become the state flag on May 11th. Oh, so it's not, they're not spoiling it yet. I guess it still could be. It could still be the dog or this. This looks like an old Call of Duty Black Ops emblem. Yeah, I still like Breaking Benjamin. There are almost no state flags that are cool. Yeah, because they're all lame. They, they're all just so boring. They're too afraid to take risks. You should have a look at some of the other submissions on this. Where are they? I'll take a peek. Is there a link in here somewhere? Let me see. Go to the directory. Here we go. The State Emblem Redesign Commission. Flag selections. Oh, this is me submitting one. No, 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 no. You, you don't want that, Minnesota, I'll tell you right now. I just want to see your, your database. It says, oh, wait. Oh, this, this was the, oh, okay. Uh, uninteresting. I, I was so confused. Okay, these are the finalists. All right. I see. I, I just thought this was like some kind of <laughs> like placeholder or something. Got it. Got it. All right. I mean, that's fine, I guess. Not as cool as the laser duck. Not as cool as the laser duck or the Labrador. Ugh, God, who's on this committee? These finalists are terrible compared to the others. What about the seals? Eh. Ugh. That one's kind of nice. Actually, a pretty decent design. That see, now we're getting somewhere. At least there's some semblance of an animal on it. Okay, fine. This is the only good one for Minnesota so far. Finals for my wall carpet design. Thanks for the twenty puppet, and thanks for the ten bug, and the membership bug. You have to go to design submissions for state flag to see the whole list. Ah, uh, here we go. Okay. Yeah, there's the laser duck. A lot of ducks in here. Is that a big thing in Minnesota? You guys love your ducks? Another one here. This one's hand-painted. This is like a Bob Ross. Or a Thomas Kincaid. It is this, the loon is the state bird. Oh, is it really? This one's cool. This one looks like something I would have designed. It looks less of like a, a duck or a, a loon, pardon me, and more like a reaper from Mass Effect if you look at it, like if you spun this vertically. That's pretty nice, though. It's supposed to be an eel? Well, what... What does that have to do with Minnesota? This one's just a JPEG of a mosquito. Look at F41, it's just one dude's table. Do 
Yeah, that's a cool table though. I can see that looking pretty good on a flag. Google image with <laughs> Minnesota placed under it. Nice. Ooh, this one's very cool. Minnesota's got some talented artists. Thanks there, Prime. Bakara. So I'm assuming in order to even be posted on this website, there had to be some people that vetted it, right? Because there would absolutely just be dick pics on this. If it was just submit it and it instantly goes to this data bank. Maybe like going on Omegle. So someone absolutely has to approve these. But then again, why would a dude's table be there if someone approved it? A goatsy flag would go hard. True. Maybe we just haven't gotten into that part yet. Oh, this one's nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like this. A lot going on here. You got some muffins. You've got... I'm not... Ectoplasm? I, I don't know what that's supposed to be. Maybe snow? Water, a guy playing hockey on it, it's not even frozen, it's just water, he's skating on it. Fish, loon, butterfly, Rick and Morty portal, mushrooms, this is nice. That tells a whole story. Oh, here's the Labrador. That looks nice. Oh, these two just, they submitted the same thing twice. The only difference being this green border, I guess. But that's good. Increasing his chances of getting selected smart. This has a lot going on, too. Not bad. Thoughts on the biblical prophecy coming to fruition? I feel like I read that at least once a year. My favorite time that happened, though, was back in the, I think it was 2011? Might have been 2011? With the rapture. It was shortly after Macho Man Randy Savage died, and they were saying the rapture is coming, and it got picked up by so many people that everyone started quitting their jobs and, like, going on this cross-country trip waiting for the rapture date. And then it didn't happen, and so many people were really mad, because it was a radio host that started it. And everyone got really mad at the radio host for it, because they gave up their jobs. And then it became a big meme that Macho Man Randy Savage prevented the rapture. Yeah, Harold Camping. Yeah, 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 Harold Camping. Solid. This one's mixing mediums. I appreciate that. Thanks the resub, Mike. Oh, this is very, like, psychedelic. I, I don't know what I'm looking at. I also don't know how that ties into Minnesota, but there's a lot happening there. What is that? I don't know that date, puppet. What's that for? Is there, is there a prediction on it? Thanks for some key lime. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know that name, Blue. This one's just the American flag, which is actually super meta. To just put the American flag on the Minnesota flag, that'd be pretty cool. Hmm. 
What is this? <laughs> cool. He just used some markers on a piece of construction paper and then put it on his carpet and took a picture. It might get used. Such a wide range of quality. You forgot to edit out a lot of <laughs> the flag submission here. I'm assuming they were texting their daughter while editing this together in Photo Mixer. This, this also tells quite a story, to be honest. A lot of moving parts. That's included in the flag. Oh, nice, true. Yeah, it's the whole thing. Minnesota is now like the brand ambassador for Photo Mixer. I don't know that game time. And thanks for the 20 bugs. It's crazy how similar some of these designs are to each other. But I like the ones that try something a little different. Don't turd on me. What more needs to be said? This one's just at the local Minnesota library. It's it's just already a flag. Oh, no worries, G double. It happens. I've done that before. Thanks, the resub green. This is a whole text conversation. Oh, no, 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 it's explaining. So this is the flag they're submitting, and here's the explanation. The colors white and blue meant to pay homage to the original Minneapolis flag and symbolize the water of the 10,000 lakes in the Mississippi River. The colors red and gold meant to pay homage to the original St. Paul flag. The two stars in the upper left and bottom right are representative of the Minneapolis and St. Paul, respectively. The white pattern across the blue background on the flag is taken from the aerials of the real Minnesota lakes where the color represents the frozen state of the lakes in the cold Minnesota winters. I think you misunderstood the assignment though. Because I think they're just going to look at your design without the explanation. But I do appreciate the breakdown. What is this? A, a man committing suicide on the mountains? Nice. Man, there's so many submissions, holy fuck. A two-headed loon, cool. Did you see some of the submissions from when New Zealand tried to change their flag? I didn't know this was so common. No, I didn't see any of that. This is the first time I've ever heard of open submissions here. And I don't see why they don't do it more often with, with shit like this. Are you kidding me? I think it's about time we had a full flag overhaul for the states. Our shit is lame. Especially Florida. Florida's got the lamest state flag. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but... It's, like, it looks racist. <laughs> like, it, 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 it's, not a, it's not a good flag. Like, I think it needs an overhaul. So, legitimately, I'm all for these kind of, like, open submissions. Thanks for resub trouble. Check out the Massachusetts flag. What's the mass flag look like? The 
Flag of Massachusetts. Ooh, wait, this one's kind of cool. Let me get a better image of it. It's a little small, so I can't really tell what it is, but it's like a, a person on it. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was a knight. I, the, the Wikipedia page made it look like it was a person in a full suit of armor. It's, it's not... Look at the submission for new stamps. <laughs> I didn't know that they had like open competitions for this. I want to pay more attention for more attention to it from now on. I was in Tampa for Thanksgiving, grew up there, but forgot how there could be a Burger King and strip club right next to each other. Oh, you're talking about down Dale Mabry. Yeah, there's 2001 Odyssey, which is a strip club. Across the street is Mons Venus, which is a very famous strip club. And right next door to Mons Venus is a pizza place and then a Denny's. I don't know about a Burger King, though. But I think that's the area you're talking about. Give me some other really wacky ones. Ooh! Wait, this one's super nice. I feel like this is definitely just stolen from someone's deviant art, but this is cool. This would be a great state flag. Thanks for the membership fever dream. The Virginia flag has some titty on it. Does it? Damn, Virginia, what the fuck? I don't even think I can pull that up on stream. Damn, Virginia, wait a minute, we do have a cool state flag. Why she got her honkers out? That's cool. Yeah, okay. Well, now that I know nudity's on the table, I am even more shocked there's no dick pics here in the Minnesota state flag submissions. Can we go through all the flags? Yeah, here, let me see. Let's take a peek. Alright. Let's see what we've got. Let's see who has the best state flag. Right now, Virginia's... I think Virginia's gonna be hard to beat because it does have a little titty on it. What's Delaware got? Man, Florida didn't even try. They just did Alabama and then put like a little seal in the middle. Ooh, this one looks kind of cool. This one's kind of nice. Okay. Michigan ain't doing too bad. Illinois got an eagle on it, and that's always very classic. Oh, that's a very goofy eagle. <laughs> you guys might want to redesign that one. Maybe make him a, a little cooler. Give him like a cigarette that he's smoking or something. That's a rather wacky looking eagle. I always also got a bird on it. Oh, it's another eagle. This is a cooler eagle, though. Wow, the flag of Hawaii. Wait, wait, what? This is a... This is an interesting flag. I would not immediately think Hawaii upon seeing this. Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. 
I believe there may be some plagiarism afoot there, but I'm not a lawyer. What's this on Kentucky's? United we stand, divided we fall, and they're shaking hands. Ugh. Lame. Give me laser eyes. Oh, wait, do we read? No. Maryland's got a lot going on on their flag here. This looks like it's mid-transition from like an old cartoon when they used to do like the spin effects. What's the current Minnesota flag? I see why they want to change it, yeah, that's bad. What are they doing? Is he playing golf? I can't tell, it's too small. It's That didn't make it any bigger. I can't even tell what's happening in there. This is pretty nice. <laughs> Missouri's just got two bears <laughs> being really appreciative, I suppose, of the seal in the middle. That's cool. I like that one. New Jersey's looks interesting. So far, nothing's really beaten Virginia in my book. Eh. Pennsylvania's actually look kind of well done. It's an interesting design. The Tennessee flag looks like Dragon Ball, a Dragon Ball from Dragon Ball Z. The Tennessee flag. I didn't notice anything. It looked like a Dragon Ball. Where's that? Did I pass it? I don't think so. Yeah, none of these really jump out at me. Wisconsin, maybe? What is this? It's so fucking small again. It was in the middle, was it? Oh, this one? Yeah. Not really. It doesn't really look like a Dragon Ball. This isn't very creative. The Washington flag is just Washington. <sighs> Jesus, they didn't try at all. <clears throat> Check out Ohio's. It's the only one that isn't a normal shape. What do you mean a normal shape? Where was it? Oh, you're right. They did get kind of goofy with the design. I still think Virginia wins. Like, all of these are pretty underwhelming. A couple of them are interesting. But Virginia, like, you're not beating this. Like, you just, you can't beat that. Titty aside, it le this has action. Quick thoughts on the LA flag. Huh? It was fine. I, I, I just think most of them are boring. Thanks for use of Minecraft. Like, I, I do understand why they would want to open this up to submissions now, because they clearly can't. Like, this would be cool. Imagine if all of our flags had this kind of shit to it. Looking like album covers. Or even this. Looking like art projects for kids. Oh, that'd be huge, Raz.
Check out the New Zealand laser kiwi flag submissions. Maybe in a minute. I'm still going through Minnesota. <laughs> these are interesting. Though I think we're just going to start getting into diminishing returns. I think a lot of these are just going to be extraordinarily derivative now. <clears throat> Do I have any expectations for the Naruto live action? Not at all. I don't think it'll be good, but who knows. Wow. Now this is a serious contender for the Minnesota State flag. Damn. That'll bring people together right there. <laughs> Wait, this one's kind of cool. I don't know why this would be on the Minnesota state flag, but this is a really cool design. <laughs> Whoever did this is pretty talented. This goes hard. Had that for an album cover. Goddamn right. The official Goatsy flag. Like I said, I'm still shocked there's no Goatsy on here if it really is just unvetted. Which it appears to be. <laughs> this is another great one, really. You know what's wild is I know a kid didn't do this. This is absolutely a... Red-blooded adult Minnesotan. Thanks for five gifted members, Nack. I appreciate that. Another actually pretty one, kind of. The fish looks a little weird, but outside of the fish, everything else looks good there. Hold on, quick text message. Okay, now I'm back. Thanks to the resub. Talks games. Alright. That's probably enough flag submissions. Pretty cool ones. If you want action, the flag of Union County, New Jersey has a British soldier shooting a woman in front of her kid. It's in the county seal. What the fuck? Ah. How about some AI flags? Interesting. What a suggestion. Thanks for the gifted member bugs. These flags high key stink. Yeah, bunch of stinkers in there, but some real diamonds in the rough. And even out of all the great ones we saw, the finalists are so boring. This one's like the the best out of the bunch, but even then, it's so boring. God, Minnesota needs a better committee. Just lame from top to bottom. Yeah, 
You watched the new Hunger Games movie? Yeah, I thought it was trash. Well, rather, the last half was trash. If they had stopped it after the second part, I think it would have been okay. But part three of that movie, awful. Thanks, puppet. Uh, you gonna watch Cocaine Shark? Nope. I'd love to attend those, Garut. Absolutely. Hi, Andrew. I'd love to go to those events. No, I can't do that, Donnie. He's a membership, Joseph. You still play Yu-Gi-Oh? I haven't in a while. It's been a minute since I've hopped in Master Duel. Washington was originally going to be called Columbia, but they thought it would be but they thought it would be confused with the District of Columbia. That backfired. Is that a real fun fact? Thanks, every sub zwink. Look at the New Zealand laser kiwi flag. Oh yeah, I forgot. And this is the this didn't win, or it did win. It's pretty cool. Has its own Wikipedia page. It was designed in 2015 by Lucy Gray. Damn, we were just talking about Hunger Games too, and that's the main girl's name. By Lucy Gray as a proposed flag of New Zealand during the 2015 to 2016 New Zealand flag referendum. Huh. Nice. So it looks like it didn't win, but it should have. What do you mean by that, Knack? No, are you talking about for the tournament I played in? Because they gave us structure decks. Thanks for your sub -saf. The flag just didn't change. Oh. What a shame. That's definitely better than whatever they currently have. It's resub steel. What's your favorite planet other than Earth? I don't really know, man. None of the other planets have any, like, quirky shit to them that I can think of. Isn't there, well, actually, there is a planet that rains glass, right? Which, I'm pretty sure one of them rains glass. Uranus. Yeah, whichever one rains glass is pretty cool. Hey, happy birthday, JR. You ever played Mafia 2? I think I did at some point. I played Mafia 3. I remember Mafia 3. Neptune and Uranus actually rain diamonds, apparently. Ooh, that's cool. I 
You see the giant Burger King Whopper going rogue and destroying stuff? You're talking about the inflatable Whopper, yeah. It's exaggerated. It doesn't really seem to, like, destroy things per se. It's more so just bumping into things, which I have no doubt causes damage. Thanks, Reese of Axie. I don't know if I'll review murder drones. We'll see. It sounds pretty cool to me, though, Alpha. Thought you switched to YouTube only? I did. And then Twitch announced that you can just simul stream, so I said, sure. <laughs> so now I do YouTube and Twitch at the same time. There's no reason not to. Thanks to Resub AP. Any tips for having a small penis? Nah, it's, I, I always... That's always the wildest thing to me. We looked up the stats on one stream, and it was like a shockingly high number of people have a, like, con, like actual medically diagnosed micropenis. And that blows my mind because I feel like, as an organism, that would be, like, the number one thing you would develop to not have. Because it's, like, the most important trait that you would have. And yet, somehow, there's a lot of micro dicks out there I don't really know what you can do about it I don't know maybe like I mean we have technology you can like strap strap on how much hey nice wig how much is surgery I don't think there's actual micro dick enhancement surgery is there let me see Penis enlargement surgery, how it works, pros and cons. Penis enlargement penis enlargement surgery is to make your penis appear bigger. Uh, who needs to have it? Talks about micro. Oh, wow, wait, what? Is this real? I didn't even know this is something that could happen with a micro wiener. People with these conditions often seek surgery to restore a functional penis. These functions include being able to urinate standing up. I... Why would a micro wiener not allow you to pee standing? Oh, appreciate the 20 gift sub, Sneaky. Thank you for that. And yeah, I have seen the part two to that, Joe. And I saw Luffy's hat deflating in the parade. Because you pee on the balls. How, though? I, I don't... I don't... Well, no. I could... I guess. Maybe. But you could just, like... Eight? Like, <laughs> you could, like, plank on the toilet, I guess. But then you're also still not standing. Maybe, I guess. Usually, a micropenis, I think, is diagnosed with three inches hard. So it'd probably be, like, one inch soft. I feel like you could probably still clear the balls if you push it down. But I don't know. So how does this work? Okay, they have a device called the Panuma device. It's a soft silicone. They place it under your skin. And it's the only product, this type of product, with FDA approval. Oh, actually, they have quite a few different options. They can use dermal fillers, a suprapubic fat pad, and autologous fat. Where they just lipo fat from other parts of your body for your wiener. Does this work though? I feel like that would cause... Well, no, since you're already getting the surgery, they'd probably do something for your urethra as well, right? Because it'd make your dick bigger, which would make it complicated to urinate, I would think. Because your urethra wouldn't grow with it. I don't know, I have to really like get into the weeds of it. Thanks for recent blue eyes, but it looks like there is options.
You gonna watch the new Elvis biography? No. I did not hear about that cactus. What's this video about? Oh, it's just a really awful wedding where they did a karaoke karaoke rendition of Crazy Bitch for the, the walkout. And I was just saying how no wedding will ever be as cool as this. How many people watching live statistically have a micro penis? We did the math last time. I forgot what it was. I think it was 1 in 10,000. So right now there's, across YouTube and Twitch, 21,000. So there's 2.01 dudes in here that have a micro dick. Could be any one of you. Did you know plane captains give trading cards? No, I don't, I don't go on planes, I'm afraid. So I wouldn't know that. Would you ever do a Nuzlocke? I've thought about it. It seems like it could be fun. I've just never pulled the trigger on it. But it does seem like I would probably enjoy it. Any interest in the new WoW Classic season? I was talking about that earlier. If it was retail, I might be interested. It's just, Classic is just too slow for me. According to Guinness World Records, the smallest penis belongs to a man named Mike Carson. His penis is 1 16th of an inch. Huh? How is that possible? That's just like a... Like a zit. Thanks to resub decaying. And the prime vetch. Thanks to the resub frizz. Charles, the average micro penis is not three inches hard. Yeah, it is. Isn't it? Did I misremember? Let me see. Yeah, right here. An adult penis is considered abnormally small if it measures less than three inches. When erect. That is the actual clinical definition of a micropenis. Three inches hard. Or less. Why are you telling me I'm wrong? Is it you? Are you one of them? I, I, I think I gotcha. <laughs> you gave yourself away, buster. <laughs> You see the David Grush podcast? Yeah, we talked about it. Well, I, I still didn't watch the podcast. I just got the highlights from it. I did not feel like going through that whole fucking podcast. What is your worst public restroom experience? I guess it depends on what you define as the worst. Like the grossest bathroom that I had the worst time in? Or like the people in there being the worst? There's parameters. Because there's been some real dirty shitholes that I've gone, gone to. As everyone has. 
I guess like the worst experience though is I went to a movie and like I had to go to the bathroom mid movie, which I never really like to do. I try and go pee beforehand, but I, I guess I drank too much water. I don't know. And I rushed to the bathroom and when I went in there, there was a dude at the urinal <laughs> and when I turned the corner, dude fucking shat his pants. I swear to God. I even tweeted it when it happened too. I was so stunned and disturbed. I turned the corner in this fucking bathroom and this guy at the urinal just lets out this cannonball of a fart, like actually tore his whole asshole wide open. And it really offended me because he's at the urinals doing it. And it just, I don't know, that sticks with me. It made me so fucking mad. Like, I have no doubt he caked his shorts. There's the resub jazz. How old did he look? I don't know, I never saw his face. I only ever saw his fucking blasted out cheeks. I mean, he wasn't, like, naked or anything, but, like, I turned the corner and he literally, like, blew his whole asshole out. So I never saw what he looked like. Is the tweet still out there? Probably. I don't think I've ever really deleted tweets. Yeah, of course I trim it, Jedi. Oh, that's tough, McMurphy. Just pretend that I'm in it, then. Dude, how you get heated over another man's shat pants? Because he shat them as I was walking by him. It's fucking gross. <laughs> it's like when you walk by an air vent or something. Like, that's what it felt like. I didn't feel the air from his anus or anything, but, like, that's what it felt like to me in my head. I literally passed by it as he was crop dusting. It was upsetting. He's a prime gaming. I appreciate it. Thanks, Arcane. Or Arca Arcana. Thanks for your some souls. Do you think he sacrificed his pants to spite you specifically? No, I, I bet he didn't change those trousers for anything. He was in a public restroom at a fucking movie theater. He absolutely just went back into the theater. God bless whoever had to go back into that chair at some point. What movie? I have no clue. I don't remember. That's the only thing I remember about it. It was probably Dr. Doolittle. I went to a theater that... Tiana and I went to a theater that we never really went to often... We only went to it like a handful of times. We saw Dr. Doolittle, um, um, God, Maze Runner, and like two other movies there. So it was probably one of those. None of the movies we ever saw there were any good. So that just, I guess, insult to injury. I think it was probably Dr. Doolittle, though, if I had to guess. The one with Robert Downey Jr. Thanks for your sub, JK and Julie. No, we don't have that breezy. Sounds cool, though. Hey, wishing you a speedy recovery on it, King. Oh, here, someone found the tweet. Watched a man shit his pants today. Walked into urinal and dude next to me lets out the wettest, most foul sound from his asshole. His pants blew back like a gust of wind hit them. I know it wasn't wind, it was poop. Could literally hear the feces firing out of his ass. Yeah, that sounds about right. It was miserable. Yeah, talked about it. Excuses. True double. What a hero. This is why movies are dying. Why go watch a movie with strangers who shit their pants? I guess that's one thing you can point to. I don't know if it's the primary cause, but...
I mean, maybe it's a contributing factor. I don't have the data. No, I'm not playing leagues this time around. Seems like it's a great league season, though. People are loving it. I watched Wooks do that 8-second Vorkoth shit. Seems great. But no, nah, I'm not playing leagues this time. You think FromSoft will unveil Elden Ring DLC at the Game Awards? I think that's possible. Yeah, I, I don't think that's cope. I think that is actually possible. Yeah, we talked about Leth Lethal Company outselling Call of Duty. I'm very excited about that. Just checked... I just checked, correct me if I'm wrong, the day before you tweet the Justice League movie released in theaters, was that the movie you watched? It, was probably, it probably was the Justice League, actually. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't remember if I saw that at that theater, but maybe that would make sense. That would be par for the course, honestly. God, that movie was bad. The Zack Snyder cut, though, was pretty hard. But the movie that released in theaters was awful. And yeah, we talked about CM Punk coming back. Oh, I appreciate that. Thanks for that, Ken. Appreciate the big drop. Cause Effect Consulting. Why does that sound so familiar? I think I know that channel. I love bad financial gurus, though. That shit is always so fun. You said cause of cause effect consulting. Oh, found it. I'll take a peek. hear about how there's a reality TV show about Squid Games on Netflix. I just made a video whining about that. It's so fucking bad. But I'm so tempted to just watch episode 2 now. I really want to see how much worse it gets, because people said it gets even worse. Which makes me very tempted. And yeah, we talked about that as well, Breezy. I don't think it's an afterthought, though. Not at all. Thanks for the five gift subs, Nut. Appreciate it. Yeah, Invincible Season 2 has been great. I'm one episode behind, so I haven't seen the mid-season finale yet, but everyone's been really singing its praises, and I'm certain it's going to be really good. Oh shit, your Cryptid podcast is out? Yeah, the Red Thread episode 1 went up last week. Thanks to Prime Anonymous.
Have you ever seen Gary V saying he pictures his loved ones getting shot in the face? Why? Why would he picture that? What would be the purpose? Is it like one of those things where you think of something horrifying in order to last longer in sex or something? Like what would be the primary reason? For motivation. How? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. How does that motivate him? Even if he makes $50 billion, he couldn't stop a loved one of his from getting shot in the face. He can't throw money in front of the bullet in time. That wouldn't, that wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> I guess I'd have to see the full context. That's why he has to work harder. I just don't see how that makes you work harder. <laughs> like, picturing your loved ones getting shot in the face. No amount of hard work you could do could prevent that. If someone pulled a gun and shot them in the face, it's not going to matter if you made $50 billion off your crypto pump and dumps. Like, that's not going to do anything. Hey, happy birthday, Jordan. And thanks, Inter. Maybe. I did hear the Gwyneth Paltrow lawsuits becoming a musical, which sounds about right. Thanks the Prime Chubs. It's a clip on YouTube. Alright, let me see. I'm very curious now. Was it Gary V. Motiva well, half the shit he says is supposed to be motivational. Wait, where's the one where he says that he pictures his loved ones getting shot in the face? I really want to see how that transitions into being motivational. And the series is okay, Hypercane. And yeah, they're, of course, Breezy. What's the name of it? Is there some Crimson? Just look that up specifically and you'll find it. Gary V. Loved Ones. Shot. <laughs> this seems like a dangerous thing to search. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, that didn't bring up anything. Oh, wait, here, here. Who do you love the most? Found, found it. I think. Who do you love the most in the world? My family. Good. Who in your family? Pick one. <laughs> You're very politically correct. Cool. Every day, make in the in like literally once a day, genuinely sit there for five minutes and make pretend one of them got shot in the face. <laughs> what a fun exercise. I'm being dead serious with you. Every single cool. day, I almost I said this today earlier. I probably once a week to four times a week sit there truly in the shower on a flight mm -hmm. when I wake up. Some people meditate. Sounds perfectly healthy. Right? Same. Some people work out, right, to deal with whatever anxieties or thoughts they have. I actually sit and truly try to convince myself that I have lost one of the five most important people in my life, and that is the biggest thing I do that leads to the biggest happiness I have. Who do you love the most? What? What the fuck does that mean? How does that transition into being happy? Listen, you're going to need to do this exercise four, four times a week at least. Picture the... Five most important people people in your life. Picture that they just got their fucking throat slit right in front of you. And then their corpse spit on. Then you can be happy. I don't understand. I thought, how is that? That's not motivational. <laughs> Wait, where does it go from there? There's got to be more to it, right? There's got to be something. There's got to be something more to that. But even still, I don't know how that could ever transition to being motivational. Like, I work harder because I don't want my five loved ones getting shot in the face. But again, no matter how hard you work, you can't throw money in front of a bullet that's traveling towards your loved one's face. Like, no matter how hard you work, if they're going to get shot in the face, your crypto schemes aren't going to stop it. I don't understand. <laughs> it's about being grateful? Well, that'd be, like, motivation to not work as hard so you can spend more time with them so your time with them is more meaningful. Because any moment, they could get shot in the face as you keep trying to manifest it, I guess.
I'm so confused on that. <laughs> that makes no sense. That would be like arguing for the opposite. You should be spending more time with your loved ones. Work smarter, not harder. So yeah, well, you can spend more time over here. Because any moment now, someone's going to come fucking firing through the door from the hip, blasting at your loved ones' faces. He's just describing anxiety. So, he's describing anxiety by picturing his loved ones getting shot in the face four times a week for five minutes a day. It leads him to happiness. How? That sounds more like paranoia. And yeah, I'm one episode behind on Invincible. <laughs> what an exercise. Drop down and give me 20 grandma getting stabbed. <laughs> you in the front row. Roll your eyes into the back of your skull and I want you to picture this. I just came into your house and I, I fucking split your dog in half with a hatchet. Now think on that for five minutes. Then you'll be happy. It's about appreciating what you have while you have it. That'd be like the only like takeaway I could possibly see for it, but it's an argument for not spending a like everything I've seen from Gary Vee is about like you gotta work hard, you gotta do this, you gotta do this, you gotta grind, you gotta fucking grind. This would be an argument against that point. Hey, appreciate what you have. Spend more time with the people you love. It'd be like against what he preaches, I feel like. I am very curious where it goes from here, though. <laughs> now I want to see the whole thing. Hold on. I've got to know. Now I'm way too curious to see how that transitions to happiness. Is this the whole thing? My. Right? Some people. No, this is just the same thing, but on TikTok. Oh, here, here, here. What, what, what about, uh, my 30 minutes? Could you be any more long-winded? Gary Vee explains why he said to imagine your family getting shot in the face. If you have to spend... How? How do you spend 30 minutes on what was supposed to be, like, a simple exercise? What? Just tell me what the purpose is. My favorite Gary Vee moment ever, the, uh... The shoot your family in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, honestly, like, back to, like, the way media said works. so earnestly. Because I believe in it. <laughs> you know, I'm unfortunately, speed, this is where please. TikTok can really fuck your head. Make sure you subscribe to the KC Radio channel so you never miss it. This at bat. Yeah, well. but it also doesn't make you sometimes think like, fuck it, I'm not going to do all this. Like, no, a lot of this is no, an asshole. And you know what's funny? This is, like, this is where all the Gary Vee content comes from. That's how I felt in school. That's how I would feel if you told me to make my bed. Right, right. <laughs> right. You know, the most the inefficient thing of all time. Ever. Oh my god, all right, I'm just going to fucking try and find his explanation later. I'm not, I'm not going through 30 minutes of that. Thanks a tier one clutch. I imagine it has to be like, you got to appreciate them. Oh, of course, would love to, Breezy. He just hates his family. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, I spend four times a week just picturing my family murdered in cold blood. Helps me find happiness. Thanks, Arisa Chrono. Look at the TMG pod going over it. I didn't know this was such a popular clip. I love goofy shit like this. I don't know how I didn't see this. I need a tier one Fenrir. Or Fintrix. Yeah, we went over the Disneyland streaker already. That's false. He kisses his dad on the lips. He kisses his dad on the lips? And then he pictures him getting shot in the face? What an interesting dichotomy. Thanks, Reese Far and Coley. 
No, I'm sorry to hear that, Murphy. It might be his last kiss, you never know. <laughs> That's, yeah, hey, hey. True. Yeah, no, I didn't know anything about this shit. I, I don't know. No one ever told me about the Gary V. It's not meditation. It's the exact opposite of meditation. Anxiety-inducing exercises? Thanks to the Prime buff. Watch the clip. He literally smooches his dad. Apparently that's just a lot more common than I would have ever thought. What does he say about it? The moment Gary V kisses dad. I have my dad join me. Yeah, you. Ken, yeah. what I sold. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. And that's uh, yeah. I, I, uh, listen. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, that's not. That's not how I expected that clip to go. I have my dad join me. Yeah, you. Ken, yeah. what I sold. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, uh, yeah. I, I, uh, listen. It just kind of comes out of nowhere. <laughs> just, they're just hanging out. My dad's here. <laughs> All right. Gary V. <laughs> Gary V's got some fucking clips. Those are fire. Hey. Four times a week. Kiss my dad on the lips. Go into the shower. Sit down. I picture him getting shot in the face. I'm happy. No, I'm one episode behind on Jujutsu Kaisen. Same with Invincible. Oh, they're not having a good season. Breezy, I haven't been keeping up. Yeah, we talked about that earlier, Guardian. I haven't finished it yet, but we did talk about it. Things are resub Drew. <clears throat> Panthers are one and nine. Tough year. see Darth Vader is going to be voiced by AI now? Is that confirmed? I doubt it. I highly doubt it. I don't think they'd do that. James Earl Jones gave them his blessing. So it is confirmed? Let me see. Oh, you're right. James Earl Jones lets AI take over the voice of Darth Vader. Huh. Mm. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm a little mixed. On one hand, I can see why, since he really embodied the character. And I, it seems like he's really passionate about it, so I think he'd want to be, like, the one true first and last Vader. So I kind of get that, but it also feels really scummy to, like, anyone else that could have had the role and gave a passionate, inspired performance to honor it. Huh. Interesting. I think that's, like, the first actor I've seen say that. I think he gives Sub McLovin and the resub of Moxie. Seems just a bit selfish.
Is it his choice to make? Yeah, I think I think so. It's his voice. I don't think Disney can just do it without his blessing. Oh yeah, I saw they're adding some AI shit. I haven't looked into it though. I'll have to check that out. Oh, that's rough breezy. Have you seen the new Percy Jackson TV show that you should have starred in? No, of course I haven't seen it. I was robbed of my role. Have you seen what's going on with the SAG contract and how the union is super divided about the AI terms? I've seen the aftermath of it. I haven't seen, like, the further division post-contract, uh, though. I appreciate that. Thanks, human. Have you seen the Jack Harlow halftime show? I forgot to look at that earlier. I heard it was not very good, though. What a shame. What was the name of the sport you were talking about a week ago? The one that was very brutal? Oh, Game Bread Bare Knuckle? Yeah, it's an unreal violent sport. Like I said, the one I watched, the f I watched five fights. I think it was five total. Four of them ended in a... No. Four of them ended in an injury. Two of them ended in a stretcher. So one of them was a broken hand, the other was a broken kneecap, and then the other two were just complete unconsciousness needing a stretcher. Shit was crazy. People getting their face split all the time, it was wild. They, they like, touted as the most violent show on earth, and after watching that, nah, I believe it. I do believe it. Appreciate it. Thanks, Addison. Thanks, Arisa McLovin. And so much more intense than with gloves. Yeah, so this is something I think everyone knows and something I've talked about. The frequency of concussions actually increased in boxing post-boxing gloves. And the logic behind it was you were punching harder because you weren't hurting yourself in the punching process. So typically when you hit something with your fist, it hurts. But boxing gloves take some of that pain away so you were hitting harder, people were getting hurt. I always thought bare knuckle wouldn't be as brutal. Like I thought there'd be less injuries. What I failed to calculate is that your knuckles, like they're, they're almost like bladed <laughs> to a certain extent. Like even in the, pro the promotion, some of the casters were like, saying like hitting them with the blades on the knuckles and people's faces were just getting split and busted and fucking destroyed so i don't know if like maybe concussions are less frequent in bare knuckle but they make up for that with thousand other injuries oh i don't know i just don't put a lot of thought into the titles is all large man that's all and I have seen the new Garfield trailer. You can also... No, you can take more damage with gloves. No, you can take more damage with gloves. That's why boxing has more CTE than MMA. Well, that, well, that is probably also true. But it also has to do with not hurting yourself as much on your punches. So it, ma it makes you more likely to throw like your heaviest punches. Whereas like with just bare knuckle it's going to hurt you a lot more for example one guy broke his hand hitting another man's face <laughs> like that doesn't really happen in boxing not often thanks to resub sepla and the resub macaroon
Reminds me of that dude that put plaster in his boxing gloves and killed his opponent. Oh, fuck, that was so... That was disgusting, yeah. Things the resub says. Links are resub soggy. Who put plaster in their gloves? Um, what was his name? Yeah. Basically what happened is in his fight, it turns out, in his gloves he put like a little bit of plaster to hit harder. Then it ended up killing his opponent. Things to give some panders. When was this? It wasn't that long ago, I don't think. Let me see. I'm gonna look it up. Before Margarito vs. Mosley, his trainer observed Margarito had pasty white substance in his hand wraps. One doctor described this material as plaster hidden in the wraps of Margarito, leading to accusations that he may have been trying to cheat. Uh, fast forward. It's not giving me a date in here. Oh, 2009. No. When was it? So that was a different instance. Wait, how many times did he do this? Oh, it was 2009 that he had his license revoked. He got... The trainer, that is. And everyone associated. Why is it not just telling me the date of this fight for some reason? Two thousand eight. Did he survive? Because it's not saying it. I thought I remembered him dying. Oh, wait, is this the... Wait, wait. Thanks, Risa Brandon. There is so much info on this, oh my god. Well, obviously there would be. Thanks to the Prime Otter. No, it looks like he survived. Yep, he did. It was his father that passed away. Man, there's so many articles on it. Holy shit. Two thousand eight year of GTA four in the recession. Hmm. Here. This is the one I was thinking of. This is what I got it confused with. So the plast the plaster boxer did not kill his opponent. This is who passed away. So what happened here is in this fight, his opponent was using tampered gloves, which is when they took off some of the cushioning. And they also used plaster. This was a different case. So it got, I got it mixed up. It was two different ones. Also why there was so much info on plaster gloves boxing. Because I guess it's happened more than once. Which I didn't know. I thought it was just one time. He 
He was undefeated before his career was cut short after his final fight when he sustained serious injuries in their 10-round bout. Oh, he didn't actually die from that. He suffered a torn iris, permanently blurred vision, which left him unable to box, and then was killed in a car accident. Man. Jesus Christ. So this fight ended his career, but it's not what killed him. Okay. Thanks to the prime meat. How many times has plaster been used in boxing? He couldn't see, though. Well, he wasn't the one driving. I don't think, right? In which he and his best friend were driving. Well, I guess he could have been. Showed that crash was intentional. Jesus. Who was the dude that got hit in the back of the head and went into a vegetative state? I don't remember his name, but I know who you're talking about. Oh, holy shit, Ethan. No, I didn't even see that rematch. I saw it being posted on Instagram that it was coming up, but I didn't watch it. I'll have to. De I'll definitely have to check it out, though, Ethan. Thank you for the huge fucking drop. And thanks, Onion. And I know, that's what I was talking about. Oh my, wait, what the fuck? Holy shit. Not, it's not Onion, it's Orion. Sorry about that. Thank you for the huge drop. And I was just talking about the Silent Hill 2 remake earlier. And how little faith I have in it because of Silent Hill Ascension. Really appreciate the massive fucking drop, man. Oh my god, Orion, what the fuck? His name was Pritchard... Pritchard Collin. I know his mom posts updates on him on fa on a uh, TikTok. This was not plaster, though. This was not a plaster incident. He kept getting hit in the back of the head during a match in 2015. Fun spot used to be great, yeah. You feel bad for that guy? Well, yeah, obviously. It's a tragedy. You hype for the boys season four? Yeah, I am. It's a sad story. It is, but he remains in high spirits, as does his mom. So, he, like, here's an article from September. Like I said, they keep posting updates on his condition. Is the resub tie? Mm. Yeah, boxing scary, man. This shit is very scary. Appreciate it, Isaac. And God, thanks again, Ethan. No, I didn't arm wrestle him, Ethan. Well, kind of. Me and Matt did together. Like, as a, as a joke. We didn't even move his arm an inch. Sleep well. Arc. You see the Josh Giddy drama? Yeah, we already talked about it. I know he's being investigated. I don't think he should have played in the game last night while under investigation. That just seems really weird. My friend took pictures with the girl who got with Josh Giddy. It seems like every human being on the planet did. There's like a thousand pictures and videos that all came out about that. Which is nuts. Am I hyped for Tekken 8? I'm super hyped for Tekken 8. Is he reset Darko? I 
You know, Moist Meter, Good Burger 2. Nah. Cool it got made. Shame it took 20 years. You see Billy Mitchell made a cameo? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I fucking love it. He's really getting desperate for a little uh, lawsuit compensation, it seems. So you can get Billy Mitchell to say something for a cool 60 bucks, I think it was, right? Oh, no, five bucks. Let me see. Hold on. I've never used Cameo. Is this is this video messages for five bucks? I like how it's under Twitch streamers. Book a personal video for $48. Okay. So this is just like a text message that no shot he actually sends. Mitchell, video game player of the century. I've met many of you at conventions, both national and international. Whether it's history's first perfect Pac-Man, King of Kong, King of Hot Sauce, I'm now here on Cameo for you or your friends. Record a personal message, ask a question, tell a story. Whoa, there's a lot to talk about. Whether you want to meet the guy you saw on the screen or the guy you met at the convention, give the gift of gaming. Never surrender. Never. What? How does... That's not a slogan, right? I don't remember him ever saying that. Give the gift of gaming, never surrender. Surrender what? They're not coming to take our games, brother. Who are we surrendering to? The Chads? Like, I don't understand. I don't even... What kind of war is he fighting? Must have to do with his court case. Oh, true. Never surrender in the face of overwhelming insurmount or insurmountable legal evidence against your case. Never give up. Keep pushing. I see. That makes sense. Things are subworst. What the fuck could this video possibly be at 2 minutes and 30 seconds long? Is this the hard sell on why you should buy a cameo from Billy Mitchell? Billy Mitchell, video game player of the century. And I can't believe I'm here. Damn, he's energetic and in I this have one. To explain to Jedi the problems we have with Neil. Jedi says, do you always have to blame Neil? Is it always Neil's fault? And I says, you want to know the last time something wasn't Neil's fault? He says, when? I go... What is this? I want to know the last time it wasn't his fault. Is this like a monologue he wrote for his thespian troupe? I don't understand what the fuck I'm looking at. Or listening to, rather. And looking at, actually. Is... I'm assuming he's trying to portray this as like a video message someone booked from him. But who the fuck would have him just read out Star Wars fanfic? Why would you have Billy Mitchell do that when you could actually just go to a real Star Wars cast member on Cameo? I feel like he's just making this up, <laughs> kind of like priming the pump, like, oh no, no, look, I get requests. Thanks for the membership, Bill. And yes, I did see the update on the Psychic. And no, I haven't seen that at all, Brayden. Is that new? What? <laughs> oh, alright, thanks, Rex. And yeah, I'm familiar, Isaac. Hopefully soon, TD. He looks like the bad guy you see in the... You, he looks like the person you see in the bad guy swivel chair. Yeah. What's this one? Okay, we are here at the annual Arcade Olympics. This is Billy Mitchell, video game player of the century. I actually thought there was going to be a video that goes by without him saying Billy Mitchell, video game player of the century. I thought for one second he wasn't going to mention that. We're here. That's probably Primer, the longest he's gone without mentioning Steve, it. Eight seconds. Helmet. Dugong? Poopod? Fast O. Sausage Rich? Big Brad. Greasy Vito? And of course, the Don. It's really, really simple. It's not a matter of who gets lucky to win. Luck is when preparation meets opportunity. What is it? What you are you for talking a year. about, man? What the fuck is this? 
Billy was professional and weaved in the notes very naturally to his message. It was insightful and inspiring. What, him talking about the Jedi keeping secrets in the library or something? The fuck are you talking about? Absolutely perfect to no surprise. <laughs> was a huge hit with the team and gave some last minute motivation. Oh, I gotta read these, what the fuck? Oh, here. They can even share the cameo? Doesn't that ruin it? It's no longer personalized. Bill. Billy Mitchell. Video game player of the century. Sir, you remember that. That was 24 years ago on stage in Japan. <laughs> that brings a thought to my mind. I was contacted by your fellow gamers at Norta. They thought so much of you to reach out on this special day, your birthday, to see to it that you got a special message. You're a talented video game speedrunner. Oh, speedrunner. My day, it was called Video Game Records. What will it be called 76 years from now? It's very specific. When once again, they name a player of the century. Oh, I see. My question is, you're talented. Can you walk the walk? Will it be you? I think perhaps because of the respect they show you and the way they've reached out, I'll be watching. Believe me. Why are you taking so many fucking pauses? But I'm always watching. It's verbalizing comma splices, Billy. Please. This is not dramatic. It's infuriating. That could have been a 35 second video. But he keeps, pa he keeps fucking pausing. Like a malfunctioning text to speech. No, I definitely wouldn't do that, Ethan. My physique's not near ready for that. Thanks for the membership, John. He's got an American axe behind him. That's actually so hard. What the fuck? What is that for? What does that have to do with Donkey Kong? He has two axes behind him. Richard, Billy Mitchell, video game player of the century. Speaking to your good friend Joel, brought up a few questions. Can you put up a score? Is that the Can twin towers on his tie? Oh my god, wait, where are we? In the American HQ? What is happening here? Can you handle the recognition? If you want your name written into history, be willing to pay the price. That price will bring you under the wrath of Billy Mitchell soon. However, for today, happy birthday, my friend, from Billy Mitchell at World Record Headquarters. Oh, we're in World Record he Headquarters. I see. That now, now it makes sense. Okay, I see. Well, he's looked pretty good. $60, huh? I'm glad everyone seems to be so happy. Nothing but five stars. Every single one of them, five stars, huh? Interesting. Very interesting. If you give them anything under a five stars, you're faced with a lawsuit at your door the next day. Why does he keep claiming to be the ultimate gamer ever? Brother, that's not what he's claiming. Are you not listening? He's the video game player of the century. Not the ultimate gamer. That's a totally different title, which you could have easily gotten if he wanted to. But he was too busy fucking your mom and every other goddamn groupie that was on his meat after he got the Donkey Kong record. So now he settles for just being the video game player of the century. And thank heavens for that, because if he went for the ultimate gamer too, there'd be no women left for the rest of us. So God bless that he held himself back. We all got very lucky. Thanks, the resub Sphinx. Thanks to the membership radio. I'm surprised he stopped at the century. I, he gave himself the title. Yeah, he could have gone for video game player of the forever. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there's definitely other ways he could have done that. The eternal 
Lord Emperor of Gaming. Yeah, you're right. I don't know why he stopped at Century. Kind of lame, actually. Like he said, in 76 years, there's going to be a new video game player this entry that'll be crowned, and it won't be him. Well, it actually might be him. He'll be huffing his own fucking fart fumes to keep himself alive for the next 300 years. What advice would you give to a 19-year-old dude who wants to find love, but not with dating apps? Uh, I don't really have good advice for that, man. Um, I think... First and foremost, you don't need to, like, live your whole life around that goal. You're still extremely young. You don't need to, like, rush it. You can just naturally find someone that you really connect with over time. You're 19. You don't need to fall in love right now and find your soulmate at 19. So I'd say just let things naturally play out organically. Just don't obsess over it. I'm not sure, that's a good question. I don't know what I'd want that gameplay to be like. Let it play out and when you're single and 36 you can accept you're a loser. <laughs> oh, that got way too personal. Hey, I'll, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you something really uplifting. Billy Mitchell? I think we can all agree that this man is legitimately the, like, he is L incarnate. Like, and I don't mean L from Death Note. I mean, like, legitimately just like a fucking turbo loser. He's married. A man has laid pipe. If Billy Mitchell can do it, you have no excuse. None. Thanks to the Prime Luna. I think he's married, hold on. <laughs> oh, or maybe no woman's worthy enough to lock him down like that. I'm really not sure. He is, he's married. He's been married twice, actually. No, wait, that's not him. Yes, he is married. And he has three children, so... If he can do it, anyone can do it. Appreciate it, Kevin. And no, I haven't seen the new Duck song. Any games with dead player bases that you'd play if they were still... If they were still active? Just, uh, off the top of my head, no. Is 30 too young to enter the dating world? I've made tons of mistakes in the past to get here, but now I'm ready. <clears throat> but now I'm ready. Lilt? I'm sorry, I don't know what that word means. Looking to settle down. No, man, it's not too fucking old. There's, there is 8 billion people on this planet, or however many. It's, uh, billions of people on this planet. It, it is, it, you're not too old. Unless you're someone that's trying to... Uh, <laughs> be with college girls then yes you're too, you're too old for that <laughs> but if you're looking for like an actual partner in your age group you're, you're not too old there's no such thing as aging out of the dating game I have no idea John I have Nolan I think would be great for that project Isn't it weird that the completionist hasn't responded to the charity investigation by now? Not at all. That, that is a legitimately huge legal issue. There is no shot he's going to make any kind of even semi-unprepared statement anymore. Especially not after his interview with Mudahar and Carl. So no, I am not surprised. At all. Even slightly. I wonder if anyone did a roast from Billy Mitchell. God, now I'm too fucking invested in this Billy Mitchell rabbit hole.
So this one was apparently a huge hit with the entire team and got them to get the motivation for a project to go live, I guess. Inspire me. Billy Mitchell, video game player of the century. We are here on the cusp of UHIT going live. This is destined to be the best oh. epic implementation ever. Some will say good luck. Let's talk about luck. Luck is when preparation meets opportunity. That opportunity comes from hard work. Didn't he and just say this? Did I already watch this video? Be the empowerment that shows the greatness that makes the on-base team the absolute best. From one champion who can easily recognize other champions, <laughs> UHIT, go live. I, I see why that inspired the team so much. From one champion that can recognize other champions. He does have a keen eye for that. That team went right to their computers and fucking flames were coming off of the keyboard. They were going so crazy getting that project ready to go live. Now that Billy Mitchell senpai acknowledged them. Oh my god, Ethan. I really appreciate that. I've never heard of that app, but it has gotten a little bit better. I appreciate that, Ethan. Jesus, man. Thanks for the 10 gifted members' money. And the 5 gift subs, Nell. Thank you for the generosity. Holy shit. Please buy a cameo from Billy Mitchell for a friend's birthday. Like, conceptually as a joke, it's a, a, a silly haha idea, but I'm not spending $48 for Billy Mitchell to say... Billy Mitchell here, video game player of the century. I hear a special boy's got a special day coming up. I too had a special day. It was 1998. Donkey Kong. In front of a sold out Wembley Stadium. I set a world record. What are you doing to celebrate your day? From one champion who can recognize other champions. I hope you have a blessed day. Like I don't need 48 fucking dollars for that. I don't remember when he set the Donkey Kong world record. I just pulled that one out of my ass. It definitely wasn't the 90s. I'll tell you that much. Oh, Jesus Christ, money. Thank you. Thank you for the gifted 50 members, man. Oh, my Lord. Thank you for the generosity, brother. And thank you, kitty. God damn. The second video is a roast. This one, the Jedi monologue he gives, I don't think that's a roast. And if it is, I'm not listening to a whole fucking Jedi monologue. Brother, you are going nuts. Thank you again for the 20 gifted members money. I hope you're having a great night. Thank you. Don't fall for the Billy charm. It's, it's hard not to sometimes, especially when he's giving you... <laughs> giving you the eyes like this. Yeah, I don't know how you say no to a face like that. But I'll, I'll try and stand strong. I'll do my best. Things in tier one now. And an, oh, oh my god, man. What the fuck? They mean in the reviews it was the second one. Oh, for the roast. Thank you again, money. So this one is the roast. How do you how do you play it? It's not starting for me. Are you sure? Hey, hope you had a good time at work, Johnny. And I do know underwater rugby. And money's going fucking crazy. Thank you, man. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. The second video, not second review. This one? Isn't this the one I just watched? Nope. Billy Mitchell. This is two minutes. Video game player of the century. And I can't believe I'm here. And I have to explain to Jedi the problems we have with Neil. This is the, this is the same fucking Jedi thing. This is the goddamn Jedi thing. And I'm not, I don't care about the problems with Neil. What, is that how he roasts people? This must have been some kind of like fanfic thing that they asked him to do. Thanks to the prime fraud.
Ask him to do a lawsuit. No, he's not going to do any of that. There, there's no way he would actually do anything even remotely close to that. It's just going to be all blanketed shit. Like, very safe stuff. Very quick. Who would be your pick for the real video game player of the century and why? Like, if I had to pick an actual video game player of the century? Um... Right away, my head goes to two people in particular. Simple and Faker. I legitimately think both of those gamers have done so much to extend, like, professional gaming outside of just their zones. I think it have to be them, but I also want to go back even further because there's another name that I think really helped revolutionize the perception of professional gaming, and many of you might have forgot him, unfortunately. His name's Walshy. Walshy released the Halo 2 montage long, long time ago. This is the original upload, too, I think, for YouTube, but it was I think it predated that. Walshy was a professional Halo 2 player who was doing shit no one had ever seen before. And when MLG was still around, Walshy became somewhat of a household name amongst gamers. And I think he really helped elevate professional gaming, at least in the way people look at it. His accomplishments aren't nearly as impressive as, like, Faker or Simple. But he was, like, an early adopter. Like, a pioneer. Thanks a tier one salad. <laughs> God damn, another one. Thank you, money. Jesus. Yeah, no, Billy's a streamer. That's why he's in that category, man. He's, he actively, uh, actively is the wrong word. Occasionally does some runs. What about the Ogre Twins? They did a lot for pro gaming, if not more than Walshy. I wouldn't say they did more than Walshy. I'd say they were more successful than Walshy. But I just really think Walshy kickstarted that whole drive to be a professional gamer. Walshy was there so early... Posting montages, content, like, really elevating the scene. But I think the Ogre Twins, like, were more successful. I appreciate that, Lionel. No, sweet. Thank you, Bugs. I am excited for the boys season 4. I still have to watch Jin V though, because I'm sure that's going to tie in in some way. You remember making a video on that modern art performance of a guy who made his face an asshole and started coughing up shit? Yeah, of course I do. That was a crazy video. I can never forget that. Why? You the performer or something? I haven't heard anyone mention that performance in, shit, six years at least. Yeah, I went to college. Exercise physiology, so my degree was human science. What the fuck, man? Jesus Christ. That, that's... You, you've done more than enough, man. Just relax. <laughs> Jesus Christ, money. What the fuck? That's... That's outrageous, man. God damn. Dude, seriously, watch The Sopranos? At some point, I might... Jesus. Really appreciate the generosity. That's more than enough now. I'll just sit back and hang out as we go over goofy topics.
like Billy Mitchell's cameo. Snoop Dogg didn't quit smoking. You must have missed the second part. It was all a fucking ad for a smokeless grill. Or a, what was it? Smokeless, smokeless, what was it? It's not a grill, right? What is this again? Snoop Dogg's giving up smoke, but it's not what you think. All right, Snoop Dogg made headlines when he announced on social, but he assumed, right? Even Meek Mill chimed in. Yeah, chemicals found in newer strains of Meryl Mary Chain. Snoop, smoke is kind of your whole thing. But I'm done with it. I'm done with the coffee and my clothes smelling all sticky, Iggy. I'm going smokeless. Solo stove fixed fire. Oh, they take out the smoke. Yeah. yeah, solo stoves are advertised as smoke. Stove. Not a grill. A little fire pit. I appreciate that. Thank you, Nut. And yeah, talked about that already, Kevin. I think that was very bad. That was so goaded of him. What's crazy is he made that huge stunt just for a fucking, like, brand partnership. That's nuts. I've said this for a long time. Snoop will do actually anything that pays him. Like, I don't even think it has to be a lot of money. Like, he just does, like, anything. He's everywhere, all the time, for any and all occasions and promotions. Is he still in phase? No, they are. He sold his stock, I believe. Yeah, in April of this year. What is phase stock looking like, actually? Oh, they're on the come up. They're up to 19 cents. That's a little bit better from their uh, 16 cents from like two months ago. The only thing Snoop Dogg did for FaZe was get a chain. He took a single picture. Yeah. I know. This is so good. <laughs> it was so good. That would be cool, Johnny, if he wants to. He wore it at the Super Bowl, too. Did he? I don't remember that. Thanks to the membership sales in. Thanks to Recent Cocaine. Of course, I'm going to be playing Dragon's Dogma, too. It comes out soon, right? Or, uh, not the game doesn't. But their next big thing for it comes out soon. I think it comes out like next week or something. They're doing a presentation. Did you see the article? Fake Elon Musk streams leading to 165k crypto scam. Yeah, that's not new though. These pop up all the time. And not just with Elon. Pretty much anyone. Like any, like, billionaire. Thanks to Resub Elite. That's a fun game I can speedrun. I don't know, Granny. Outlast, actually. It's a really fast one. And easy to learn. It's almost 2 in the morning where I live. Yeah, it's getting close to 2 a.m. here, too.
You think the finals has potential? I do. I think it looks good. I only played the first playtest and the server was the biggest problem. Jeez. So as long as they fix the server, I think it'll be good. Is the five gifted members deaf in the prime degenerate? The destruction's fun, the pacing's good, I think it really does have potential. Hmm. Were the servers as bad as Payday 3? In the playtests that I played in, the first one, they were pretty bad. I don't know how bad Payday 3 servers were, but they were rough. I will tell you the worst online experience I've ever had is in Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. The first one. This was an unplayable game online. You could it like you would get into a game and it would hardly work at all. I don't know if they fixed it in the sequel. I hope they did. I'm sure they did, but it was unplayable online. People say the second one has really good netcode. Well, that's exciting. I haven't even touched it yet. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying yet. I probably won't. But glad everyone who is playing it is getting better multiplayer experience. Multiversus was so good. I really liked Multiversus, but man, they suffered from the same fucking problem Apex had in the beginning. They just let it stagnate and die. Like, yeah. It's such a shame. It was fun, though. That was one of the top ranked Shaggies for a while. It's a membership, Noblin. It's like watering a plant for a month and then telling it to water itself. Yeah, I just don't get it. Fall I think the most egregious example is actually Fall Guys. Fall Guys dev team got gutted, right? Pretty sure they did. All Fall... I mean, judging by the views here, it's looking like it's still got a player base. I, I don't really know. I don't hear about it anymore. Fucking Stumble Guys blew past it. But Fall Guys dominated... It was so huge. It had a fucking death grip on a, on the whole community. And all they had to do was just give it like little updates, like maybe just a couple of more maps or anything. Obviously, the big thing they needed was like the uh, map creator on your own. That would give it infinite shelf life forever, infinite replayability. But even just then, they could have just kept sprinkling in a couple of maps here and there as opposed to just a couple of fucking dumb skins. Like, I just don't know what they do. I really don't get it. Like, I don't know what you would be doing at the Fall Guys HQ if not making shit. I don't know why they'd let it die like that. It took them fucking, what, two years, three years or whatever to get out the map creator? Yeah, I'm gonna play the Walking Dead game on December 1st. I don't think it's dead at all. I don't hear anything about it, and I know their dev team got fucking slapped from what I recall. Unless they restaffed it. Let's see. Fall Guys developer hit hard by the Epic Games layoff, but studio... But studio is to remain open. Not popular equals dead. So, I mean, there is a catastrophic fall off regardless. There's 2,500 players on Steam. 
Oof. Doesn't include the players on Epic. I, yeah. I, last I heard is Epic's not doing so hot with their, their, uh, platform. Because the Epic Game Store is kind of shit. As of November 7th, the Epic Game Store is still losing money. Big time. After five years. I still think this was just a dumb decision to make their own competing game service, a game store. Should have just stayed with Steam. Don't Epic Games make a lot of games free, though? You're confusing them with Game Pass. I don't think Epic Game Store makes a lot of their games free, but I'm also just not a big user of it because I don't really like their platform. Maybe they do. I wouldn't know. Every week is a free game. Cool. You see Ubisoft having pop-up ads during a single-player game? I saw a headline about it, but I didn't look at it. Like, Ubisoft wasn't already dying, they're trying to kill themselves even more. I imagine this is just like a one-time experiment, right? <clears throat> what game was it in? Probably Assassin's Creed. That'd be my guess, that's like all they have. Ubisoft blames technical error for showing pop-up ads in Assassin's Creed. A full-screen pop-up appeared in Assassin's Creed Odyssey for some players this week. Uh, uh, ooh. This is disgusting to experience while playing, remarked one Reddit user. <laughs> cool. I have expected it to be like a pop-up for like, like a show or something totally unrelated. I don't know how you can even have a technical error like that. Seems like they're just trying to really backpedal it. What a weird bug. Ah, uh, this is so odd. Somehow a pop-up during your Assassin's Creed game tried to get you to purchase our other Assassin's Creed game that just came out and happens to be on sale. What the fuck? Who did that? Which one of you rascals in the office did that? The error is that people didn't like it. Yeah, but these people aren't, like, the, the suits aren't that stupid. They know people aren't going to like this. It's a matter of finding, like, the perfect balance where people are gonna hate it, but not enough to stop playing your shit. So they just keep testing, tinkering, finding the perfect blend. Have I seen the Ark Ascended trailer? Nah. Lots of games do that though? Oh yeah, it's not exclusive to Ubisoft. They just happen to be the most recent one caught with their pants down. Fucking shoving a mid-game ad in their face.
Do you think GTA 6 will be worth the wait? Yes. I am pretty optimistic. The new leak of the characters from GTA look insanely good. Was there another leak? I haven't seen any of that. The last leak was actually extremely impressive for how early it was in development. The GTA, the GTA 6 map apparently doubled the size of 5. Oh, yeah, no, it's definitely going to be bigger. That's not surprising. True, Liam. That's kind of what I'm thinking, too. Do you think we'll ever see a resurgence of single-player games since the games-as-a-service model is showing signs of fatigue? We never lost that, though. We still get single-player games. Like, most recently, Alan Wake. Like, there's still plenty of single-player games. Tears of the Kingdom. There's, there's a lot. Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah, but you can play that multiplayer. I think he's thinking of just... Well, actually, no, that would still fit. You named two? I named two Game of the Year contenders. There's fucking thousands that came out this year alone, probably. Final Fantasy 16, Resident Evil 4 Remake, Starfield, Lies of P. They didn't go anywhere. Starfield. Hey man, I didn't like it, but it is still a massive single player game. I'd actually argue we get more single-player games now than multiplayer games. Like, multiplayer-focused games, that is. It's too expensive to focus on multiplayer games when, the cert when it's not certain that it'll last. Never even heard of that movie before. The Road? That's cool, Pawn. I don't know, it depends on the game. I'm not super big into VR myself because I get so bad motion sick, but I do think some of them are cool. Alright, now I'm getting tired. Now I'm getting sleepy. Alright, I'm going to call it a night. Alright, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate the generosity. Have a wonderful evening, everybody, and sleep well. Have a great night, everyone. Bye-bye.